What's going on, nasty besties and owlets? How are you doing? Great to see all of you. <laughs> so this isn't clickbait. I actually did really find Chantal's workout routine. I actually did. I did. It's not clickbait. Hey, Ramble On, Kitty Connecticut, Miranda Snyder, Rosebud, Lucy Jane 12, Cat C, Darkest Coven, Worshneffer, The Audacity, 31 Frames, Holding On for the Tab, Rosebud, Pony Epify, Susie Q, Patricia Ingalls, Dainty Gorilla, Kimmer, BB, Rana R, Sniper Love, Stacey Mills, Mia, <laughs> Hey, 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 everybody. Good to see everybody. Hey, Jen, Jonesy, by Eggplant. I mean, Dick is ready for a workout. Cage, pick, kit, a keto coat potato. Lori Compton, Stones of the Past. Kelly Irish, Tony D's in the nest. Jen, Glamasaurus Rex. Yeah, Catnip is here. Awesome. Hey, Leone, how are you? Small motician, Jack in the Box. Does everyone have their sports bras? Please grab one on the way in if you didn't if you didn't bring yours. We do have um, we do have some extras. We do go up from we go from double A up to triple J. Okay, um, I am kind of limited in the black and white. They're mostly tie dye, so if you don't mind tie dye, that's what we have. Hey, synthetic mind. Hi, hi. So it's actually not clickbait. I did find her exercise routine. I did. I did. I did. I'll show you. Let me show you. One clout. You have your sports bra and a jog strap. Perfect. <laughs> you really are ready. You're overly ready. Hey, Snuggle Puss. You're going braless today, Leonie. Leonie, we're going to be doing some actual exercise, though. So I want to I wanna grab it. You know, I'm let, you know, if you need one, if you need one. You're double A for sure. No problem, Kelly Irish. We got you covered. Actually, we do have a black and a white one, as well as the tie-dye. So you have your choice. Hey, Fadoodle. Hey, EM. How's it going? Sansa Cooks is in the nest with her sports bra. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Sweating to the oldies? No. Mm -mm. You can only watch until 8 p.m. Okay. Okay, Lori. We'll get right to it then. <laughs> Caddy Kufart. Hi. Oh, Caddy, Fatty Kufar. Fatty Kufar? Aid, Saeed, Tony, thank you. You forgot your E. Don't worry, EM. Just grab one on the way in. There's a whole box over there. You brought extras, Bur Big Turks, and why can't I talk tonight? <laughs> I haven't done much talking today. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Thank you, Big Turks and Quick Twerks, for bringing the extra sports bras. I should do verbal warm ups or something. I did hear about the Philly Aid event. Yes, I did. I don't know much about it, but I did see, yes, that there was bang, bang. Net Detective is here. <coughs> yeah, Omi, Omi. Sir, don't start. Tucker and friends. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Lacey, Medic Lady, Aid Saeed. Anna Gags. All right, so let me show you what I found. It's not clickbait. I feel like the more I say it, the more you're going to think that it is. But it's not. Sports bras with hooks and not pullovers, suburban, suburban hillbilly. I have the pullovers. So if you need like a molded cup and an underwire, I don't have those. You'll have to bring your own. Hey, Mash TF. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Let me show you. Wiener wagon. You like love anything that keeps your pancakes packed? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me show you what I found. I don't think anyone else has found this yet. I haven't seen it. Okay. So here is our foodie beauty. Your sag. That's okay. Hey, gravity is a thing, you know? It's a thing. Those granny tops. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big fan of the Me Undies Scoop Bralette? Oh, okay. Hmm. You like the pink and yellow? Oh, yeah. We try to stay fashionable over here. Yep. So, on Chantal's tabs, you can see across the tabs, one of them is playlists. 
and every channel has that. Okay. So I decided I'm going to take a look at her playlist. Like, I don't think I had ever really noticed them before. So let me show you what I found. It's very interesting, as you can imagine. This is her, this is one of her playlists, workouts. And they're all seated, senior and obese workouts. Seated workouts, yoga. And then at the very bottom, she has May 20th update from At Home with Misty from like four years ago. And the Riverside Incident, a walkthrough gameplay of a horror game. So, whatever that is, okay. And she has 18 videos on this playlist. Low impact cardio for workout, for beginners, six minute abs for beginners. This is all on her playlist tab. This is her exercise playlist. <laughs> 30 minute exercises for seniors. 25 minute chair exercises, sitting down workout. This is her workout playlist. I just went to her channel <laughs> and clicked on her playlists. Cause I'm always curious how a creator like categorizes their playlists. And uh, yeah, here it is. So we're gonna do one of them. <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can do the type of workout that Chantal does. <laughs> We're going to do one of them. Now, I'll show you on her actual channel, too, so you don't think like I photoshopped this or something. Lots of senior workouts for a 30-year-old. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, though. It's hard to find her channel now. I'm even doing, like, food Foodie the Beauty, and it doesn't come up right away. So let me show you. Interesting, huh? Like, why oh, <laughs> does she do these workouts? Like, what, what's happening here? Hmm, what's happening? All right, Foodie Beauty. You heard she was shadow banned? Why, because you can't find her channel? I think there's just so much more content that's outweighing what she has out. I think that's why. It appears that she is, but we're just putting out more than she is of her. So, all right. So here's her channel. Okay. It's located under Pizza Hut. Okay. Oh, Wiener Wagon. You were 224, now 100, and then 117, now 135. That is awesome, Wiener Wagon. You're not really carting around the wieners anymore, are you? Fantastic. That is wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. So, okay, here we are on playlists. Okay. I'm clicking on playlists. And look, she's got Thailand 2023 and workouts. This is on her playlist. <laughs> like what? <laughs> this is on her channel. Thailand and workouts. So <laughs> like I have a bunch of playlists. I don't think I do on this channel, but I mostly private them. You know, because like their personal playlists like that I want to go back to or music sometimes, but I don't think she privated it. I don't know if she meant to or not, but here's the, <laughs> she'll private it now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is her whole saved playlist right here. And it's all of these like seated exercises for basically people who aren't very mobile. So I don't know how many of these that she has tried yet. I don't know, but there's a whole list here. 20 minute low impact cardio, 
six minute abs, 30 minute exercise for seniors, older people, elderly, seated chair exercises, senior workout routines, limited mobility. So at least, at least she's realistic with her workout goals. It's all like sitting down and stuff. Standing and seated exercise for seniors, obese, plus size, and limited mobility workout. I mean, so I figure we should try one of them. We should try and see if we can do it. And if you just want to watch, that's fine too. But I encourage you. I encourage you. So maybe give it a try. Seated cardio, burn calories, exercising from a chair. Okay. Um, yoga modifications for plus size slash larger bodies. Chair workout Christian fitness. I mean, I don't know when she put that on the playlist, but. <laughs> 15 yoga poses that'll change your body in less than a month. And then a walkthrough gameplay of some horror video game with no commentary and then this woman here who's talking all about her health issues and problems misty at home with misty and that was from four years ago so you don't have to put the ben and jerry's down that's up to you and then there are two unavailable videos that happens a lot christian fitness i have no idea especially with yoga especially with yoga is that what it is oh no it's a chair workout revelation wellness a chair workout <laughs> this is on her playlist on her channel this is all chantal this is her channel foodie beauty and then you scroll down and you click on playlists right here and we have a Thailand playlist and a workout playlist. Chairs for Jesus. I love it. Hey, live chill life. I had to do those chair workouts when I had an injury. It's better than not working out at all. Believe me, I'm sure. Yeah. You did two hours of water aerobics today, net detective. All right. Hey, I don't want to hear the excuses. If you want to sit and watch, that's fine. Okay. But I, I think we should do it. If Chantal can do it, we can do it. We can do it. And if, if you do want to just sit and watch, it's totally fine. Hey, Lisa Mitchell, Pilates is challenging. Yes. Yes. Okay. Denise R is up for it. Look at her. She's up for it. Yeah, it's still up there. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's up there. So we'll give it a try. Why not? Why not? It's a 10 hours of mental gymnastics. <laughs> that can be exhausting. It can. All right. So... We're going to do, there's modifications, okay? There, I'm going to stop and comment because, you know, I have to. But, um, yeah, we're going to do it, okay? And uh, I encourage you to, to play along if you'd like. If not, I understand. Where's my gym? My gym needs to be resized. Let's get this bigger gym. Yeah, let's get physical. Let's do it. Okay, Kelly Irish is ready. Woohoo! All right. Oh, sorry. That was probably way too... Wow, my mic is turned up. I am so sorry. Let me turn that down. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. All right, let's go. Trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a workout for seniors, individuals who are obese, and anyone with limited mobility. You can follow along with me for the standing variations and follow along with me for those seated modifications. The only equipment required for today's routine is a chair and then either a pair of light hand weights or water bottles. All right, and we're gonna get started. I'm not gonna be using either, okay? I'm not gonna be using either. I don't really have anything handy. And um, yeah, so I am gonna be cheating a little bit. You're fully invested one clout, okay. Okay, we're gonna melt away. Yeah, spring is coming. Spring is coming. So we gotta, you know, gotta get out of our sweater weather. Kimberlina, grab a sports bra at the door. There's a bunch over there. Positive attitude. That's right. That's right. Seal positions. Hey, if you need to, if you need to take a break and go into seal position, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Are there modifications for seals? <laughs> okay, she's gonna sit. 
I'm going to do it seated because I'm sitting and I won't have my mic up with me standing. That's my excuse. Okay. All right. Let's with a nice it. light warm up. Yes. And as you can Let's see, Claudia is going to go ahead and take her seat for the warm up while I'm going to do it standing. At, throughout the course of today's routine, you can choose which variation is going to be right for you in your specific needs. We're going to start with an upright row plus external rotation and press. It's not as scary as it sounds, I, I promise. Shoulders are back, good posture. We're going to pull up on those elbows and then flip the hands over oh, yeah. and then reach up top. Reach up. Now we're going to reverse, oh, yeah. pull the elbows down, that flip the good. hands over Ooh. and bring the hands yeah. back down. So go ahead and go through that sequence. Mm -hmm. One, two, Ooh. three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Excellent. This is a great <laughs> complete <laughs> shoulder already. and upper body complex. That'll help to warm up your upper body All as right. well as yes. improve your mobility. We've already burned three to now, seven calories. Now throughout the course of today's workout, Amazing. like I said, you choose if Wings you want to do the standing yes. variation or the seated. And we're also not going to count any repetitions today. So okay. it's all, all right. about moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with <laughs> and making better. this workout your own. I love that. No Make repetition sure breathe, counting. Your core Just tight, do it at your abs, own pace. Stay engaged. Yes. Flap Shoulders those are wings. back. Good posture on this one. <laughs> Pulling up on those elbows Woo! as high as you can and then flipping <laughs> those hands. Yes. Excellent. Let's do this one for five. You shouldn't five. have a fork, Suzanne. Four, They're illegal. Three, okay. two, yes. one, and mm -hmm. zero. Good. Shake those arms. I'm 10 loose. pounds lighter. Next, already. we're going to move into an arm pullover. Great one for the okay. shoulders All as right. well as your back. First thing we're going to do okay. is bend over on a 45 degree oh, angle. And right. I came up on the edge of my seat a little bit here. Okay. We're gonna keep that good 45 an degree lean. And we're gonna bring our so... arms all the way up oh, and then arms all, all right. the way back. All right, keep I'm those off to the palms side. facing down. Nice full oh, range of motion. Yeah. I have to give a disclaimer. If you get injured, it's not my fault, okay? It's not. You should sue Chantal because it came from her her playlist, okay? So uh, you look so silly doing this at the stove, Francis. Who cares? We're getting fit. It's spring. Spring is coming. Stretching all the way back and stretching all the way overhead. You know, when I say all the way, of course, our flexibility may be different than yours. You may be more flexible, less flexible. Whatever your full range of motion looks like, I'd ask that you give it. And don't be discouraged if you don't quite have the range of motion that we have on any of these moves so far today. That's why we're here, right? Getting better. Yeah, if you have Come too much stomach, this workout, just go at your own every pace. Single time. Maybe don't bend over so much. Good. Yes. Let's hit this one up for just five. <laughs> your four, feet are soaking, Victor. Three, yes. two, one, <gasps> zero. All right. Next, we're going to move into a... All right. We'll take a break. Okay, everyone, catch your breath. Catch your breath. I know. I know. It's. T I know. It's It's not easy. But look, we've already, ga we've already <laughs> gained. We've already burned 10 to 21 calories. And we've already been exercising for two and a half minutes. So we're doing it, people. We're doing it. This is Chantal's workout. Okay. It's on her playlist. And we got to prove that we can do it too. Otherwise, we can't talk smack. So posterior swing. We're going to loosen up your posterior chain, which is your lower back, mm -hmm. glutes, and hamstrings. I'm going to have my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Claudia's going to go ahead and keep her feet shoulder width apart. The key on this one is to engage our posterior chain. So I'm gonna have a little bend in those knees, a little bend in my hips, swing my weight back behind me. My hands are gonna go through my legs where Claudia's are gonna go out to her sides. My Either way, we're both way. pushing <laughs> our hips and glutes back as we bend over, we keeping our backs no straight. No excuses, there we go, yeah. And this one really is just using those one hips clout. as a hinge. He's out of breath. And even with this one, with me being seated, I'm still imagining yeah, we're that I am driving my glutes back towards the oh, wall. Okay. Yep, and that'll make glutes sure that'll the wall. The muscles. Wall. Keeping her back nice and straight. <laughs> See, look to the it really just helps you visualize how the movement <laughs> should be done. Look at your fupa. I'd like you to keep your head in line with your spine so your head fupa is stays disappearing. in a neutral position. You don't want your chin tucked and you don't want your head way up either. Okay. Keep it in line. Don't judge with your where spine. my chins Good. are. Feeling that stretch <laughs> in the back side as you go down. Yeah. You got it. Let's hit this one oh, yeah. for five. 15 four, calories, girls and three, boys. Two. Woo! One. Yes. And zero. Good. Yeah. All right. This last one is going to get your heart rate up a little bit. Oh, okay. This last one in the warm up, I should say. We're going to do a little march in place, but we're still moving at a warm up pace. 
so we're gonna move I opposite that. arm and leg so when your right, right leg goes up Ooh, your left okay. arm should be coming up and you, vice Harry. versa keep both <laughs> elbows bent at a 90 degree angle oh, okay we're like doing and again you Moving at it, a warm-up pace right. still, whatever your warm-up pace looks like. Yeah, it's not a race, guys. We Take have it plenty easy. of time here coming up to get in some some work. <laughs> Thank you so much this for joining us today. Working out with us. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, whatever Let's your name is. Let's keep it going. Keep those Feeling shoulders back. Good mm -hmm. posture. Opposite arm and leg are moving it. together. Yes. Oh, I'm doing the same on each Let's side. Let's do this Oops. one for just not five. <laughs> four, <laughs> three. <laughs> Two, one, zero. Listen, All right. Warm Listen, we're not interrupting. I understand the distractions of like buying memberships and subscribing. We will deal with that after the workout. Stop stalling the fitness, please. Warm up. Warm up complete. <laughs> Feeling good. Uh, so we're going to need our hand weights for the next one. So whether you're using some water bottles or some light dumbbells, you choose. And sometimes it's nice to have both on hand just in case you need to change it up depending mm -hmm. on the exercise. All right, first one we're gonna do is gonna be a side raise okay. to a front raise. Oh, okay. So those palms stay facing down yep. on that side yep. raise. And then- <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Facing Fitness first, exactly. Kimberly. On the front raise. Both exactly. times we're bringing our arms out until they the are parallel members. to Thank the ground. You, nice and controlled. We're not they're swinging our arms. We're not if you get a cramp, stop and drink here. some water. It's a great one for your shoulders. Mm -hmm as well as your core, just to go ahead and keep yourself in this stabilized position. Keep your abs tight <laughs> One and engaged throughout the move. You're thinking about the eggplant. And if you find that Let's the hand weights are too much for you on this one, <laughs> or, or any of the movements, it's, like, it's all right if you need to set them down. Okay. And yeah. just go ahead and use your arms. That's right. Go at we your own pace. We just encourage you to keep moving, oh, keep working plus. through it. Come on, get with the make with us. this workout your own. <laughs> Doing great so far today. Keep Thank it up. you, Poor Life Choices Simulator. We're breathing. We're moving. Oh, we got this one for only yeah. 10 more seconds. Only 10. Almost there. You guys can do it. Push through 25 it, 25 calories burned. A little lactic one green acid burn burned. is starting to kick yes. in. That's okay. That's how we know it's working. Yes. It's a good thing, I promise. And three. It is a good thing. Two. One. Woo! Zero. Yeah. Right, keep in those hand weights. We're going to do all right, it next. All right. Gonna... All right. Let's take a breather. Okay. Take a deep breath. Grab your water if you need to. Okay. Take us. Just take a breather. Take a step. A step. Take a step. Yeah. Take a step outside for a smoke if you need to. Yes. You're eating while watching the salad. <laughs> or a pea, Sansa. That's right. Yeah. Sansa is the person to ask what kind of calories are in 26 like 26 calories what does that get us does that get us a couple of green beans maybe <sighs> yeah emily flotilla you usually just lurk hey i appreciate the lurkers just as much as the participants and we will definitely get to oh my god harry you gifted 15 jeez louise all right we're gonna go through all those after the workout okay after the work, no excuses. All right, let's, okay, we ready? One and a half olives with ALR. Oh, that's not much. All right, let's keep, all right, let's get back to it. And do a curl plus run in place. <laughs> so it's just Jane. a hot Ooh. feet, stand Ooh. light and on the balls Mount of Everest. your feet. Here we come. And at the same time, we're curling those weights all the way up and all the way down. I want you to curl and squeeze that oh, pinky yeah. in. Oh, up squeeze the, the pinky? And again, with all these moves, you're moving Squeeze at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Whether that's faster than us or slower than <laughs> us, make this workout your own. And throughout the course of the today's pinky. workout, it's going to be so very important yeah. that you focus on what motivates you We're and good. what brought you here today. What brought Whatever us here? Whatever that may be. You know what brought us here, Hank, Frank, Jamal? You know what brought us here is Chantal. Chantal brought us here. Chantal is making the community fit. It's thanks to her that we found your video. It's on her playlist. Yeah, that's what brought us here. We're motivated. Whether you're trying to lose Steve. some weight, just get more fit, or just be better at your day-to-day -day activities, whatever Pinky's that is. Out. Yes. Stay focused on it. Keep your goal in mind. It'll help you yep. get through to the end. All right. Almost speaking to the end, almost done with this one for five, That's all right. four, 
three, two, one, zero. All right, excellent okay. job. Goodness. All right. Woo! Okay, moving into a back exercise next. Mm -hmm. We're gonna okay. do a bent over row. So bending over onto All a right. 45 degree angle, slight bend in our knees, if back can, is straight, palms are facing inward. Only as far as we can pull go. Pull back on Don't our elbows crazy. and then return. Okay. So anytime we do any yeah. row, you gotta. I want you to pretend like there's a string attached to your elbow and somebody's pulling yes. back on that string. Pulling straight back. So what I don't want you to do is pull on your hands like so. Right. Again, keeping that back straight, good posture. <laughs> nice sushi. Hey. All the way up, all the way down. <laughs> the move is pretty much the same whether you're standing or seated, but if I'm standing, it forces me to use my legs a little bit more for stability. You can only go three inches with your Excellent fupa in the job, way. That's guys. okay. Keep it up. One rep. As far as you can go. Right into the next. Don't Ooh, hurt yourself. That back a nice good squeeze. That's right. Contract your back muscles Salad up at in the, the main very lobby top streaking. as you're pulling <laughs> those elbows back. Patty. Excellent. <laughs> and if you need to adjust your yeah. weight, feel okay. free to do so. Okay. But we just yeah. want you to stick with us and keep on moving. You betcha. You got it. You That's got right. it. Not much left on this one. Nope. Okay. Let's do this one for just five. Mary, pick one up at four, the door. There's a bunch over there. Three. Two, exactly, otters and elephants. One, zero. Yeah. All right. Good job, Another everybody. Combination move coming Keep up. Keep going. A lot All of right. combo moves today. You one can tell. One at a Okay, time. so we're going to put those hand weights All right. in going a up. racked position, ready to do an overhead press. Okay. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going right. to step to one side okay. and oh. press at Ooh. the same time All right. and return back oh, to center. Oh, that's a good one. Step okay. and press, keeping a slight bend in your knees. Yes. You decide again if you want to do the standing or the seated variation. It's working your balance on this one either way. I will fit in the Kia. And again, if you I need will to drop the hand weights because it's being <laughs> feeling a little too heavy for you, yep. that's <laughs> totally fine. Yeah, just Body use your weight hands works if you need to. It does. You'd be surprised at how good a workout you that's can get right. just the moving your arms heavy, on your own. Think of all the feathers you're lifting. Just hang with us. Come on, guys. Yes. Again, focusing on what motivates can do you. do this, Ness. What is it? What's it going to take for you to accomplish your goal? What's our motivation? Getting in the Kia. The work you're putting in today <laughs> yes. is definitely a great start. For sure. Just day after day, doing what you know you need to do That's right. to get there. That's right. Little Come by little. Come on, guys. Let's go. Focus on that goal. Yeah. Don't I mean, focus on that burn. Gonna, That's the key. I'm in a leather office Good. chair on wheels. It I'm doing it. <laughs> and five. Yeah. Four. Woo. Three. Two. Organzola. One. Zero. All right, you can go ahead and put your hand weights down for the next Thank one. Thank you, Patricia. We're going to move into what's support. called a good morning. Another move Ooh, for our posture routine. We're both going to have our feet shoulder width apart and okay. place our hands on our head. All right. I'm going to drive oh, my hips back out. with a slight okay. bend in my knees, keeping that slight bend right. until my upper oh, body like gets to about parallel to the ground. Okay. And then I'm going to stand up back and up squeeze again. my glutes at the top. Ooh, and I'm doing the, the exact same movement. Of course, mm -hmm. I have my legs extended out and I'm coming down to about a 45 degree angle. Okay. And I'm just coming oh, right good. back up. And even though I'm seated, I can still give my glutes a nice squeeze, squeeze right at the top. The butt. And we're both feeling a stretch in our backside. Definitely. You, you might not have the range of motion or flexibility that we have to get down as far as Don't we brag, are. Steve. Like I said, ideally you're getting down Don't on brag. my version until your upper body is parallel to the ground <laughs> and Claudia's a little higher than that. But depending on your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and lower back, and other factors, That's the you might not like. quite be able to get there today. But the good news is, okay, is this move will improve your mobility, mm -hmm. so you will improve over time. Definitely. You just have to keep coming it back. That's it. Simple. Name of the game. Keep yes. showing up. Yep. Consistency. Be amazed yes. what happens when you just keep showing up. That's right. Again, keeping driving those hips back behind mm -hmm. us, yep. feeling that stretch, working Woo! your hamstrings, your glutes as well as your lower back. Tucking and your again, chins. just re-emphasizing right. to go at a pace that is comfortable for your fitness level. Right. Whatever Don't try to keep up be. with the fitness experts. keeping this one up for just Do five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, zero. Fupa good. be gone. Oh, like that stretch and that move. That does feels feel good. good. No weights required for the next one. Okay. We're going to do a modified jumping jack. So we're not oh. really going to jump, but we're going to go through the movement. All right. So for me in a standing position, Turkins I'm going to bring my arms up and I'm stepping out with one leg okay. and return. And I'm doing the exact same oh, movement, right. of course, putting my hands over my head, but I'm bringing my legs out okay. and back down. You decide which variation is this. right for you. No problem in going back and <laughs> forth between the standing 
and seated variations if you need to. Sansa's using an excuse to get out of working you out. Quite extending oh. and opening your legs is quite as wide as me. That's okay. You might just be here for now. That's and right. Another okay. point Get that I've heard can. a few times is ideally you're picking your legs up on that one, but if yeah. you can't quite you pick can't them up all the way and they end up kind of dragging a little bit on that's the ground okay. as you're opening your legs, yeah. that's all right too. Just keep working towards right. being able to pick them up. Do a little better every time. Now I'm keeping a slight bend in my base leg on this one so I don't have my leg <laughs> straightened out, leading. right? But instead, a, hey, we'll a take slight the support. bend in that knee. Sit and, and all the while in the like seated position, Mary. trying to maintain Ooh, that good posture position keeping our core nice and tight throughout this movement. And we're almost there, guys. We only have 10 more seconds on this one. Keep pushing. Is this modest Stay enough? Staying focused on that mm, goal, whatever it may be. Not thinking about how those shoulders are burning or legs are burning. Let's do it for three. I do feel a little two, in my arms. Two, one, yeah. zero. Okay. Good. Woo! All right, we are going to need right. the hand weights for the next. Okay, Steve, hold on. Is he sweating? Is that all sweat down his back? My goodness. He does say later that it's hot in there. All right, let's take a breather. Okay, the chafing with the fupa, that is problematic. Yes, get yourself some powder if you need to. Keep the areas dry. If you do sweat during this, be sure to dry yourself. Maybe take a washcloth, you know, with some soap. Rinse it good. Dry it really well. All, everything, everything, everything. Powder, okay, everything. This workout is too hard for Chantal. She might get through the warm up. I feel like we're still in the warm. Like, where's the workout? <laughs> but, you know, it's for people with limited mobility and elderly. And I mean, it's good. It's good. More deodorant. Yes. Luckily, I showered right before the stream. So you got lube? I don't know, Chalmaine. You'd have to check with a medical professional about that. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. Chantal's gone to the bathroom. And took several backup sandwiches? No. No. You did hot yoga once. I almost passed out and the instructor wouldn't let me leave the room because she said it was bad to cool down too fast. Oh, wow. I mean, <laughs> hydrate or ditrate. <laughs> okay, we ready to continue? Okay. A lot of these movements can be done sitting on the edge of a bed. Yes, shits and giggles for sure. You met Fabio and Lou Ferrigno at a fitness convention, Katzi? How cool is that? I met Ric Flair many years ago. <laughs> Just need a big fan blowing on your body. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. This one, so go ahead and we pick can do those this, up. Nesties. Got this. And we're going to move into another compound movement. Very okay. efficient workout today. A lot in in a short period of time. We're doing a <laughs> shrug plus calf raise. So hands are relaxed at our okay. side. Right. At the same time, I'm going to come up onto the balls of my feet and bring my shoulders up on to the balls, my ears. Everybody. So up it's called the, the shrug movement with our upper body. Okay. And we're squeezing our trap muscles yep. up at the top. Okay. Slight bend in your knees if you're doing the standing you get variation. Nice traps. It looks Either good way, enough. we're driving off the balls of the feet, coming up and onto a calf and raise, the, um, and squeezing our traps, our upper back muscles at yes. the same time. Use my inside uh, voice. <laughs> one rep right into the next on this inside, one, guys. Right. Great strength movement Shrugs. for yeah, your that's calves, right, lower body, yeah. as well as your traps and upper back. <laughs> You're on the balls. Make sure to breathe. Staying focused on that breathing, getting into a nice rhythm with it. This will help you get out of a bathtub, Very especially if it's Very important to find peeps. that Perfect. rhythm with your breathing. <laughs> Helps you get through this complete workout. We got it, Steve. Don't worry. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Not Thank much you. left on this one. Let's just hit All this right. one for 10 more seconds. Yeah. Every repetition yeah. is getting us that much closer Use to our goal. Veggies. Yeah. And five, mm -hmm. four, Gallons of water. three, two, one, All right. zero. Good. Good one. Shake your legs out if your calves are burning. Shake them. All right. We only need one uh, weight for the next one. Okay. We're going to do a standing twist. So feet shoulder width apart. All right. Go ahead and grab on two okay. hands onto that one weight. Or a seated twist. Or seated twist. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Interlocking Marjorie. my fingers on this one. All right. Our arms are up till they're about parallel to the ground. Okay. I'm going to have a slight bend in my knees, weight back in my hips. And I'm going to have my core nice and tight. Okay. Good posture for both of us. Suck it in, We're girls and boys. Twist. Twist. Side to oh, side. Yeah. 
And the key oh. on this one is to go ahead and keep that weight in line with the center of your chest. And what that does is make yes. sure that you're not just moving your arms back and forth, Notice but you're actually rotating are. at your core, <laughs> engaging that core and making <laughs> your abdominal muscles do the work and not just yes. your arms flinging back and forth. Right, no flailing. The way you should think about this is your arms are just along for the ride. Yes. It's your abs and your core that are doing all of the work. Mm -hmm. And again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with on this one. <laughs> whatever that may be but keeping your abs engaged throughout yeah. don't just let them relax actually when we say engage mm -hmm. we literally mean contracting and flexing them. that's right that's right Contract but keep and them flex. tight yes and it's pretty much an ab workout without actually having to get down on the ground and do any type mm -hmm. of crunch yeah. that's right this is a crunchless ab workout today we can do this if you want several from core home. moves right, in well, today getting plenty of core work in and oh. again if you or can't go office. all the way to the side like we can do the best that you can <laughs> We can't, we really can't say that enough. Yeah, right. it might just be for you. It might Go just be 45 pace. to 45. But you know what? You come back and do mm -hmm. this workout again, maybe it'll be 50 to 50, right? So it's right. just those small improvements each day that are going to add up <laughs> to your success. Speaking of which, let's do this one for only five. Okay. Four, Four three, three, two, one, two, zero. Good. One. Nice work. Right. For this next one, you... I like how complimentary they are. They're like, nice work, guys. Keep going, guys. Oh, feeling the burn, huh? Crunch like a wrap, like a crunch wrap? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, sure, sure. Crunch like potato chips, yes. No potato chips, no. All right, take a breath, take a breather, everybody. Okay, we don't have much longer to go. All right, we're not doing an hour, don't, don't worry. We got this, exactly, Rosebud. Thank you for the encouragement, Rosebud. Treat yourself with a poutine afterwards. Or I'm gonna have to put you in the corner. <laughs> Let's not discuss Putin while we're working out, please. Love those instructors the most. It's an exercise hug box. Yes. That's okay, Worshnefer. You can come out. You can come out. Remember to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, grab your water. I'm flexing the Nike gear. Where's my drink? Yeah, I need a drink. You get to choose whether or not you want to use <laughs> your hand weights or not, depending on how much okay. energy you have left in you. Yep. We're going to do a high knee pull down. So we're actually going to reach up and we're going to bring our knee up as we pull down oh. arms go back up reach up and bring that knee up at the same time and we're speaking of not having to get down to get our core and we're going to crunch, okay, crunch those abs yes. grab some water if you need so to big reach all the way up pull down <laughs> so brave and big reach right back up yeah and you decide if you want to use your weights for this one mm -hmm. or maybe you start with your weights and you drop them halfway whatever you need to do okay. Fitness is not a one-size-fits-all solution. That's right. Fitness at any size. Uh, big reach, big <laughs> crunch, and bring that knee as high as at you every can, size. which for you might only be right. this high safely for today. So whatever that is. Fitness at every size. F -A -E -S. Again, making sure to breathe, guys. Thank you, you for the encouragement. It. We're getting so second. much closer to the end right here. That's right. We're almost there. You got We're it. almost there. You got Keep this. it up. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pushing yourself because no one else <laughs> can do it for you. It's all for oh, you Patricia. right here, guys. You're worth it. Let's go. <laughs> Hydrating with wine. You deserve wine. this. You deserve to <laughs> okay. feel good. You deserve to accomplish your goals. All right. You deserve to not go yes. through life feeling uncomfortable. That's right. Come on, exactly, let's go. Steve. You got it right here. Don't be uncomfortable. One wrap into the next for 10 more seconds. Get rid of that fupa. Let's go. We're almost there. Goodbye, Come on. fupa. Seconds left. Let's go. Five, four, Farewell, fupa. three, fupa two, be gone. one, yes. zero. That's it. You made it. Ooh, Excellent nice work. Nice job today. We I don't have, know about uh, you, but my shoulders are they're feeling, feeling good. some burn. They're feeling, feeling some burn. Yeah, girl. Okay, okay we're going to move into a cool down. So I'm going to grab my seat for the cool down. So okay. um, all hey, sock, of the cool down moves will be seated. We're cooling so you down have now. Your chair ready. Cooling Now's down. the time to grab it. Yeah. <sighs> Get your chair. Okay. Make sure I have enough room for my, the edge of the sofa. my long legs here. Thank all right, we're going to start with a hamstring stretch. Okay. So we're coming forward in the front of your chair. All right. One leg, 90 degree angle, okay. bend at that knee. The opposite leg, we're going to go yeah. ahead and straighten that leg oh, out. Oh, yeah. I love uh, Relax stretch. onto your heel. And <laughs> from right here, you may already have a good hamstring stretch going. But yeah, if you need additional, I, like it. I want you to apply <sighs> gentle pressure to your knee. Yes. And on any of these static stretches we're doing, yeah. your goal is always to take it to about 85 oh, to 90% of what you're good. capable of. So we want to feel a good stretch, but we don't want to induce pain or hurt, your, make you hurt yourself. Thank you. 
And if you need extra stretch, you can bend over at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So again, you give yourself oh, yeah. as much stretch on this one as you need. Oh, feels good. Good. Yes. Gentle pressure for five, four, three, Stretching is two, important. Definitely. One, zero. Good. Okay, you can go ahead and sit okay. up. All right. Next one. Oh, go ahead and keep your leg out though. Okay. We're going to sit up and we're going to move into a calf stretch. Same leg. So okay. now same position. I want you to curl back on those toes. Oh. So you start to feel that stretch in oh, your calf. Yeah. And we're just gonna <laughs> hold those toes back. Keep pulling them back, pulling them back, pulling them back. Stretching out those. Like a string. Yes, right? Patty, I'm sure. Which if you need one, you can't oh, get a good true. enough stretch. You could towel. use a band or a towel. <gasps> if you, if uh, you can't get enough of a stretch on this on its own. Okay. Holding yeah, this one for three, it's not, two, not doing much one, more. and zero. Okay. All right, same leg. All right. Oh. Let's move on over to our right side of the chair. We're going to oh. do a quad stretch. Okay. Why don't you take that leg mm -hmm. and bring that foot back. Now, depending on your mm -hmm. flexibility and your balance and ability, mm -hmm. you may be good mm -hmm. right here and already feeling your quad stretch, oh, okay. or you might really want to oh, kick that leg back further and then oh, lean back. Ouch! <laughs> you decide what's I right for you. My make foot. sure that uh, <laughs> you have, you're in a stable position with yep. your chair. So over and to the you side. Need to hold on to the side or hold on to a, right. a tabletop. Then do so. Okay. Again, making this stretch your own, but we're stretching out that quadricep, which is the front oh of this leg God. muscle, all the way down and through the hip flexor. It's really tight, especially if you spend yeah. a lot of time you know, in a sedentary position. Yeah, I can't sit on the edge position. of my handrails on my all chair. All right, holding this one for three, my two, sciatica. one. Zero, bring that leg back. All right, now we're gonna go through that same sequence, but on the other side. So starting with that Overdoing handspring it. stretch, one leg's bent at a 90 degree angle. I have an over your century. Leg comes out. Okay. We're gonna apply gentle oh, yeah, pressure this one again. to that knee if you need to do so. Oh, yeah. And we're just going okay. to hold. And sometimes you might feel that one side is tighter than the other. Yeah, But for true. myself, my left side is definitely a lot. Oh. A lot more tight than my right side is. Thank you, yeah, And that's totally common. Normal. And that's why we like to do, a, for a lot of the stretching, we like to do one side at a time. Yeah, it makes just sense, Just to make Steve. sure that we're giving both sides their yeah. appropriate a amount of, of stretch. <laughs> Big, deep breaths in and Fragica. out, allowing that heart rate to come down. Mm. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. All right, calf stretch on this side. Let's go and pull those toes pull back. back. Pull it back. And we're just going to hold. <sighs> Feels Again, good. Get some nice, big, deep breaths on this one. Mm, breathe Now's in. a good time in the routine to just take a second to, to be proud of what you've achieved so proud far today. Nest. If being fit were easy, everybody yes. would be, right? It wouldn't be. Uh, wouldn't be so special. That's right. So, um, we are give special. yourself a pat on the back pat for getting it done today. On the back. And no matter what Everybody. happens Good or job. doesn't happen for the rest of the day, yep. you can feel proud of accomplishing this one. That's right. Holding this one for two, one, and zero. Okay. Let that calf shake loose. Okay, let's yeah. move on over to that opposite side now. Okay. Stretch oh, out that opposite side cramp. quad. Right, Again, you decide back. how far you oh, want to put that yeah. leg back okay. or however much stretch All right, that you need. All right, that side's easier. Oh, I'm gonna even okay. get a lean back a little bit for a little additional oh, stretch. Lean back. Totally optional lean though. Back. Nice big oh. deep breaths on this one. You got it. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back repeat for 60 seconds where she never. <laughs> and we're holding this <laughs> one. Chantal's exercises. For five. Good job, Chantal. You woke four, up today. Three. Nice job. Two. One. Yeah. Zero. And yes. done. All right, let's stretch out that upper body a little bit before okay. we before we call it a day. Oh, call it a day. We're gonna do a bent arm okay. chest stretch. So let's get those right. arms up. Put wings we want up, 90 girls. 90 degree boys. angles all around, and we're gonna wings pull up. your arms mm -hmm. back and yes. apart like somebody's pulling on both your hands. Yes. Wow. And we're gonna stretch. Oh, Claudia likes <laughs> this one. I feel it. We're she feels cool it, guys. Now. I do. I so like this We hope one. you do too. <laughs> <laughs> so again, it. we're trying to keep 90 degree angles at both our underarms and our elbows, and we're pulling back. Feeling that chest stretch and open, and we're just gonna hold. Yeah. And again, we're getting to a point where about 85 to 90 percent of what you're capable of. Yep. Keep good posture. Don't overdo keep it, guys. Core engaged. Keep the wings. Again, remembering to just take nice, big, deep breaths. Mm -hmm. That's it. You got it, and just yeah. hold. Not yeah. much left. Okay. Yeah. And five, four, yes. three, got this. two. One, yes. zero. Oof. All right, one last Ooh. one. All right. This one is specifically He's designed to stretch us. out your back and posterior chain. Okay. 
We're going to do a reach stretch. So again, we're right. I'm on the uh, front half of my chair. I'm going to take both <laughs> hands, bring them up and around like I'm swimming. Ooh, and I'm going to reach going? just like there's uh, you know an reach object, let's say, uh, one inch away from my so fingertips, I and I can't quite I can't get it. Just keep reaching and pulling and pulling and reaching. Okay. Your upper body's on about a 45 degree angle. Oh, okay. But we're going to just keep reaching. Feel those lats stretch, upper back stretch. Oh, yeah. And hold. Okay. Man, I did not expect to sweat as much as I did today. <laughs> it is deep. hot in the gym today, folks. <laughs> what is it, about 90, 90, 95 in here? It's not. It's not that hot. Steve it's exaggerates. warm, but it's not that She's hot. She's lying. It's about 85 outside, but it's about 90 in here for three Two, one, zero, maybe and that's hot. it, guys. You made it. Thank you so work. much Woo. for all of your hard work today. Yes, thank you. Woo. Good yeah. job, Coach. Uh, and, and good job to you out there. Thank you for working out with us. Yes. If you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. All right. And if you enjoyed this exercise we routine did. with us today, we, we ask that you give the video a big thumbs up yep. and please hit that red subscribe button to our YouTube channel so that you never miss another workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out hasfit.com where we have hundreds of free Has workouts, fit. our free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. Has and fit. if you are on any type of social media platform, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, am I leaving one out? Wherever you They're are, everywhere. We, would love we want to, to connect, connect with you. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you so much Thank for you. Us today. Thank you, guys. Nest, I am so proud of you all. Oh my God. I know a lot of you, okay? We're supporting from the sidelines and that's okay. All right. I would encourage you to check out um, Chantal's playlist of exercise. I do know that most of the Nest, I think, was really working out. We were really working it, Nest. Yes. I love it. I was doing it with you. I mean, I'm sure you heard. <laughs> I even had a cramp. Oh, <laughs> oh poor life choice simulator. All right, let's go through those members, members, new members, and everything. I felt like you were trying to distract the nest, all of you, but we're finished. We did our workout for today. Do you think Chantal did hers? All right, we got Harry the Hunter gifted. Oh, I thought it was 15. Was it 10? 10? Are you serious? Memberships. Thank you so much, Harry. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have from Poor Life Choices Simulator, thank you for encouraging health and movement. AYS took a super duper legitimate break. That's fine. I, we don't, we all go at our own pace. Thank you so much, Poor Life Choices Simulator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kavella. <laughs> Thank you, Poor Life Choices Simulator. Patricia Ingalls gifted five Are You Serious memberships. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Patricia. And Poor Life Choices Simulator has been a nasty bestie for three months and says that's what you get all inclusive for subscribing to AYS for three months. Woohoo! Thanks for the patience with me. I've learned so much from you. Patience is not even needed, please. And Cat C says that was the most self care I've done in a long while. I loved it. I am so glad. Yes, fantastic. Thank you, Kavella. Thank you, Katsy. Thank you. Awesome. You guys are the best. You really, really... Fupa smash. <laughs> ah, 
I love it. Yes, please grab your water. I'm going to take a quick sip. I should have put my hair in a bun or a ponytail, but it is what it is, you know? It is. So, Patricia, oh my goodness. Did you just gift an additional five memberships? My goodness. Is that you again? I think I'm, my 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 chat is all all over the place. Well, thank you. Five or ten or fifteen or twenty or fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to the new members. Thank you. Welcome and thank you. Check out your welcome video and please be sure to check out your emojis as a nest we created them together and i think they're pretty good i think they're pretty good don't forget to stretch that's right oh my chat's way off let me go uh well that's weird <laughs> why is it so off all right let me go to this one i got it in multiple places no problem all right nice there we go there we go over fear is using the all the emojis angel of glass has her sports bra nice yes welcome to all the new nesties welcome Woo! so that is chantal's exercise that is her playlist that's her playlist so if i don't even need to link the video you can just go to chantal's channel and look at her playlist. It's all there. All of it is there. How cool is that? Thank you, Chantal. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best, Chantal. Thanks. Thanks. We appreciate you. Kinda. Somewhat. Sort of. Pretty cool. Let me bring that up again. So you can see exactly where to find it if you came in a little bit late. All right, so this is on Chantal's channel. This is on her channel, Foodie the Beauty. And you can see like home, videos, shorts, live playlists. Click on playlists. And she's gonna have Thailand 2023 and workouts. And that's what, that's what we did. We don't wanna play all. We don't wanna do that. But she's got all of these workouts listed. Pretty amazing. Low impact cardio workout for beginners. I mean, six minute abs, we could potentially do that another time. That's short. We can do six minutes. Do you guys remember eight minute abs and eight minute arms and eight minute buns? You guys remember that from way back? I have that video. I have eight minute abs. It is the best ab video I've ever done. It, you actually see results and it's only eight minutes. Eight minutes, gang. It's only eight minutes. So we got six minute abs. We got 30 minutes for seniors, older people, elderly, seated chair exercises, senior workout routines. No, it was eight minutes, Poor Life Choices Simulator. I've been doing that video since the 90s. <laughs> I mean, there might have been a seven minute version, but eight minute abs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they're even wearing leotards. You could have a whole schedule. Girl cycle could be would be fun for anyone who has access to an indoor bike. Oh, we could cycle. I thought you meant like the crazy cycle of like binge fast, <laughs> water fasting, freak out. Not that cycling, huh? Why would she put this in her playlist? I don't I don't think she intended it to be public, maybe. Because I don't recall ever seeing this before. I was just messing around on her channel like last night. Hey, John. Hey, you missed the workout, John. Probably on purpose. I'd hate to think so. You're a gym guy. We had a great workout, John. Yeah. And I just, I was kind of just looking around on her channel to see, you know, just like what's going on over here. And then I'm like, wait a minute, playlists. What are all these? Amazing. 
She had a video exercising in a chair. She did. It lasted 30 seconds, Darkest Coven. Ah. You felt that additional minute then. Oh, yeah, poor life choices simulator. You betcha. Oh, yeah. Eight minute abs and I are good friends. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kybella. Thank you, poor life choices simulator. And Ms. Fancy Trust God, welcome to Owlette. Welcome to the nest. Come on in. Oh, yeah. And then at the bottom, she's got like these random. Oh, she's got chair workout number one, Christian fitness. You want to watch a little bit of that? And we'll see. Maybe she's like, praise God. I mean, that might be nice. 15 yoga poses that'll change your body in less than a month. Shoot. I might try that tomorrow morning. Mm hmm. Jesus barbells. Could be. Revelation wellness. Let's take a quick look. I'm curious about, like, the narration. Oh, it's like a tattoo. Okay, interesting. All right, let's make sure, yeah. Oh, it's, it goes, it only goes up to 480 for resolution. <laughs> okay, then. We'll do what we can here. Healthy and whole. We love it. We love it. Let's see what their message is while we're working out. Okay. Oops. Sorry, one, one moment. Uh, hmm. 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 Well, that's weird. I guess it wasn't meant to be after all. No. <laughs> We'll keep, we'll try, we'll try. Chair workout number one, Christian fitness. Why isn't it showing up? Well, there is like a Bible verse on the screen already. So, mm, window capture, yes. Chair workout. Well, that's very odd. I don't even know what to think of that. It's just not showing up on the screen. Hmm. Okay, then, I guess. Hmm. I guess we're being, uh, we're being thwarted by, um, Satan today with our workouts. Shaitan, by the way, the, um, since it's the end of Ramadan, the devils are unshackled. They are unshackled and they're free to mess with us. So, maybe, maybe this is Satan messing around with our workouts. <laughs> Holy Spirit, activate is all the Christian workout I need. I know, it's so good. It's so good. Well, that's very strange. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's not. It just refuses. All right. All right. Uh, I gotta let it to. I gotta know when to drop it. We gotta drop it. Your gates of hell are still closed, Francis. I mean, I hope they are. I hope not today, Satan. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Let us have our Christian chair workout, please. Looks like Barbie's gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we get a lot of good content from Chantal, even though it's not coming from her. And I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. Yes. So what do we think today about Chantal's absence? Do you have any new thoughts that you didn't have yesterday? What do you think is going on? Do you think that she has totally abandoned her channel and all of YouTube? What is happening? What do you think? What is going on here? 
I want to hear your thoughts now that it's the next day. Dinner prep is done. Oh, that's convenient, Patricia. That's real convenient. The workout is done too. Mm -hmm, very convenient. <laughs> You're still happy about it over fear? It is kind of nice. It is. She is so unbelievably toxic. Uh, Lucy Jane, did she get another strike for putting her PayPal in her videos? That is not a strikeable offense at all. And it really wasn't a scam. I saw people saying that maybe she got a strike for scamming. I have seen actual, very legitimate, pre-planned, premeditated scams, and they still have their channel and didn't receive any repercussions. So Chantal just saying that she wants to buy spatulas, but then gets a flight. That's not a scam. It's not. It's, it's deceitful, but it's not against terms of service. Being a crappy person isn't, isn't against terms of service. So, yeah. I think strike for the community post that she has since removed West Coast. But she uploaded that video after the community posts. So. That's why I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Like maybe she uploaded the video before the strikes went through, I guess. That's a possibility. And if she does have two strikes, huh? Huh. Huh. <laughs> she better be walking on eggshells for the next 90 days. You think she's on her way back to Kuwait or already back there, Lisa? She doesn't have the self-control just to ignore all the haters. All the haters. Hey, Crystal Cat. It's rotten. Yeah. Yeah. She left in haste and she threatened Salah. Threats. Laughable. Empty threats. Empty, empty threats. Empty. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't said anything about Snowflake Part 2 yet. That's true. She has not. No, not yet. You think she's back in Kuwait or on the way, Darkest Coven? Oh, my God. If she does that flight again that soon, she is going to be suffering physically very, very much. Uh, John Galt, I've been able to catch up on so many wild cows. It's been peaceful with her gone. And Gore World thinks anything she does is big harambe. Oh, yeah. Anything. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. She's hoping we forgot. Tragically delicious. We don't forget over here. No, we don't. Empty threats on, like, her stomach. She's never probably had an empty stomach. She probably doesn't know what real hunger feels like, you know? If she were here, she wouldn't be able to stop herself from streaming, especially if she was high. That's a good point, Darkest Coven. Because, I mean, she's impulsive with very little impulse control to begin with, and she gets, you know, some substances in her. The, the inhibitions are going to go bye-bye, so... Pepperidge, Far oh, Pepperidge Farms always remembers. That's true. Hey, Artemida, you uh, have a great day. You too. Maybe she's in the hospital, Kazi J. Maybe. You're surprised she hasn't had a recent DVT, two Dalmatians in a pit. Imagine. Oh, my God. Hey, Fatty to Fed, all the speculation is exhausting me. I'll say this, though. If she can go back to Kuwait, I definitely think she will. We just don't know why she actually left. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yep, maybe she's in hospital. Could be. She's bed rotting. That's what I think, Rosebud. I think she's still bed rotting. Have her party pals been online? Yes, they have. <laughs> You're talking about uh, the man who shall not be named? I think she's making the bulk of her money from feeders that she grabs from here and filters to IG. Rumor, literal rumor has it that she and Takat are friends now. I saw something like that. Like they're not on bad terms anymore. I don't know. I don't know how, you know, I don't think there's really much to that. I don't know. Just that like Takat has forgiven her, basically, I think. If I were her, I'd fly into Northern England and just stroll into Jimmy Bunker's bar. 
<laughs> just stroll on in. Hey. Yeah. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta switch that up. The pink is getting is getting old. It's getting old. Hey, pink stars, how are you? Okay, do you guys? We we talked last night a little bit about my clinic experience in Egypt. Is that a story that you would like to hear tonight? Or are you too pooped from the workout? I'm pretty good. Thank you, Pink Stars. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Let me do a quick poll. All right. Um, work, visa, health, exam, in Egypt gone wrong story tonight <laughs> or if you're too exhausted from exercising we can do it another time so we talked a little bit last night about, um, you know, like I did have to have a medical exam for a work visa in Egypt. And that's really the only time that you would have. Or if you're becoming a citizen, you married somebody, whatever, I think. I think. I think that's probably country dependent, too. But just being a tourist, you would not have to have a medical exam. So I'm trying to use my own... Uh, life experiences to try to make it relatable what Chantal might be doing with some of her things you thought it was a positive experience no not at all I didn't end up having it mm -mm. nope it was bad it was not good <laughs> aka bad if she can't go back to Kuwait, she must feel stuck. She seems lost and very apathetic right now. She probably is high and binging while bed rotting. Yeah, I, th I think you're right, Fatty to Fed. That sounds about right to me. It does. And I'm actually going to use a John Galt AI image to put on the screen for this, since we will be discussing Egypt. I think that would be perfect. Where did I put it, however? Which folder is it in? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here they are. I think. Is that it? Yeah. 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 I found them. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Oh my God. Let me make its own little folder and I'll just have them like go through as a little slideshow type thing. Type deal. It's a situation type deal. Yeah. Egypt. Owls. Yeah, these are really good. I I can't even tell you how many AI owls I have. If you have submitted them, they will be on stream at some point. So many owls, so little time. What's the matter? Are you okay? You're a little, a little moaning and groaning over there. Are you okay, buddy? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Oh, he doesn't know what he wants. It's okay. Sometimes I don't either. I understand. I get it. I do. All right. Yeah, let's do a little slideshow. Let's do that. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have 46 votes. I'm going to need a lot more than that. Okay. I'm going to need a lot more than that. I need a majority. Because I can save the story for another night when we're not so exhausted after working out. That might be better. Doesn't have to be tonight. I will be back again, for sure. Always. Mm, we want time between the slides. Like, it goes by milliseconds. 5,000 milliseconds should be adequate. Oops. Uh, you went to a lovely movie and bookstore date, Juniper Billy Lawrence? A date? Tell us all about it. That's probably way more interesting. What happened? You went to a bookstore 
in a movie? How did you meet this person? Was it awkward? Was it fun? Tell us everything. <laughs> We're going to live vicariously through you. Tell us it. Tell us everything. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Those are good looking owls right there. You okay? What's going on? Okay. Oh, you okay? Mm. What? Oh. Oh. Huh. Huh. I don't even know. All right. I guess we're good. I guess we're good over here. I guess. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. 66 votes. <sighs> Aid Mubarak to you, Jar number six. Yeah, yeah. Bookstore date is genius. What someone chooses to read is so informative. It really is, Pono Yapify. It really is. Yep. It is. I'm scared they're gonna remember me down. Not the contact that I wanted to establish, Mega Omega. There's a huge gathering of crows and my neighbors. They were fighting. Oh my goodness, you threw a snowball? No, they'll appreciate it. They won't be mad at you. Oh, with your fiance. Oh, I didn't read that part. So you know him. <laughs> you kind of know him. Got it. All right. All right. My chat is off the wall tonight. Very odd. Um, let me turn on some timestamps because this is very, if they are on. Oh, uh, I'm curious, but don't want to pry in your personal life. If you don't mind, what made you decide to live in the U.S. again and leave and leave Egypt? It was the end of the relationship and I wanted to stay. I did want to stay. Um... I thought that I could live there on my own, and I still think that I could because I was working and I was making enough money to rent my own villa and have all the dogs. So, but my former partner, um, he was showing me, let me just transition to this. He was showing me, like, he took, we got a real estate agent and he was bringing me around to homes that were not livable. So that was a little odd. It was odd. So, but recently, um, an old family member from there contacted me, had some, you know, just like was young at the time and had some questions for me. And just, you know, we, we've been taught, we've been in touch ever since. And I, um, I told him like, I, I did want to stay. I didn't want to have to leave. And I told him what I was looking for and what I wanted. And he said that would have been very possible. I don't know why, you know, they didn't really show you anything that was doable. So because you do rely on Arabic speakers to conduct some business for you because some people just do not speak English. So sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. I think we should have a splinter group that does workouts. <laughs> Just floating that. We could do it on my alternate channel. We could definitely do that. We could totally do that. I just wanted the quacking to stop till I saw what was going on. I thought it was a squirrel at first. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, John Galt. This is John Galt's owls at the pyramids. These are the Egyptian owls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Like, it's so interesting what people can come up with with AI. Like, totally different stuff than I can. Completely different. Like, this is so awesome. Ancient owls. Yes, they are. <laughs> mm. 
There were a bunch of gifted memberships, so you probably did receive one today. Yeah. All right, I'm going to end the poll. Oops. Not like that. Ninety-one percent said yes. Eight percent said no. Out of eighty-four votes, okay, okay. I might hold on to my story then. I think I might till another time. Slowly but surely, become an AI background girly pop. <laughs> John Galt. <laughs> I love that. It's just fascinating how people can come up with some cool stuff that, like, no matter what I enter, I can't even come close to. This is, like, insane. Oh, my God. There was one on the one that I use. There was one. You can view the previously generated AI images, like, from everybody. Unless you make yours private, you can see everybody's. So I go in and I'm just like, I'm starting to type my, like what I want. And I look down and there's a naked woman all stretched out, like naked. And I'm like, huh, I didn't think they would do that. So I click on it to see what the prompt was. It was literally a woman's name and that was it. Didn't say anything about nudity, naked, nothing. It was just a woman's name. And it was, it was three images of her all stretched out completely nude. Your prompts are becoming essays now. It's so tricky. It's so tricky to figure out. <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna hold on to the story because i do have a medical owl all ready to go and i'd like to do a separate background for it yeah 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 darkest coven i think i'm gonna hold on to it till maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow <laughs> it's hard to know what to enter for prompts too like, I was just putting in just, like, very basic things. And then I realized you can really stretch it out. You can really stretch it out. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll tell you the story. <laughs> what do you think? All right, I already did a poll. Yeah, no, I want to have my medical owls up, though, because it's in a clinic. Yeah, no, I want to have a background with the clinic and everything. I do. I'll just give you the premise, okay? I'll give you the, like, just the overall so you know what to expect, okay? So I was working. No, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm getting, putting you on a roller coaster. Sorry. I was working. Okay, I was working at a school. I'm just going to give you the overview, and I'll tell you the details another time because the details really, like, oh, my God. I was working at an international school, okay? So there's a bunch of foreigners working there, including myself and two guys from America. They were from Michigan, okay? And there was another guy there from the States too. I forget where he was from, but he had been living in Egypt for a while. So it was a private school, okay? This place, this school, I'm going to try to get a picture of the school. I really want to give you like a full story because the school still exists. This was a while ago. The school ha looked like a car dealership, okay? And, I mean, this is Egypt. Like, everything is very um, basic, pretty much. Nothing's fancy, like, at all. So this place looked like the car dealership. Mm -hmm. Like, you walk, like, from the school, you can see the whole outside of it is, like, mirrored glass, on the outside of the school. So it's already like, what is going on here? And there's this big staircase that goes up and everything, right? Like there's no like, you know, disabled access. There's like accessibility is just not a thing. And you walk in and you see like, these weather, leather, <laughs> Jeez, I gotta do mouth exercises <laughs> before I go live. There were, there were like white leather sofas in the lobby. I mean, it looked like a car dealership. So I was like, you know, first time I brought my ex in there, I was like, you know, what, what, is, what is up at this place? And he's like, oh, it, this was, I had never even thought of this when Foodie Beauty moved to Kuwait. It didn't even occur to me until much later. He said that the school was Kuwaiti funded and that's why it was so gaudy 
<laughs> and the headmistress, oh, she was awful. She was awful. Anyway, anyway. So, and I, I can relate this to Chantal because people are like, what about a medical exam? And like, doesn't she have to pass a medical exam? And it's like, not if she's a tourist. Like I was working. I was working at a school. I had already been hired. And in order for them to get my work visa, they had to get, send me for a medical exam so that, you know, they think foreigners, okay, at the school, they thought that foreigners coming in would have like HIV, would have like all these communicable diseases that would be spread to the children and the native teachers, okay? Like very xenophobic, basically. And I'm used to xenophobia going the other way, you know, but the, these people were xenophobic against like Americans and so, because, you know, we're heathens, right? It is a kid's school. Yes, that's an important distinction. Yes, can't see. It was, I was supposed to be teaching fifth grade. <sighs> fifth and I don't even know what. But <laughs> I didn't end up, I didn't end up being a teacher there. I worked all through the summer. And when it came time for the kids to come back to school, I worked every day in the summer um, in the library with the other female teachers. We were lesson planning and doing all kinds of cool stuff. And I loved that it was gender segregated. I didn't think that it would matter to me, but I really did enjoy it. So that was interesting. But basically they sent us, they send all the foreigners, they put us on, um, on a bus basically. And we start driving downtown. We're going for a medical exam. So I'm texting my ex. I'm like, oh, we're going here. And he's like, okay, let me know when you get there. You know, like, because I didn't really know where I was going. I'm at work. So he's not there, you know. And so I tell him, like, what the place is called when we get there. And like, okay, I kind of I kind of know where I am. I'm, I think I'm in Mohendasin is where it is. I think I'm in Mohendasin. And he's like, okay, okay, you know. So he wants he wants to know in case something pops off, that he can immediately find me, basically. That's quite the jump. But yeah, xenophobia and ignorance, even unintentional, take those jumps easily. Yes. I mean, you know, some of it isn't that far-fetched. You know, people are like, oh, you're afraid to go to the Middle East, but literally you send your kids to school and they're getting shot up every other day. I'm like, oh, they're not wrong. What's the matter? Are you okay? What, honey? And this was before the dogs were born. This was way before the dogs were born. <laughs> so, so, okay. I'm still just giving you the gist. I, I sat next to a girl on the bus that was from um, Mauritius. And she was so nice. She was so beautiful. Oh, my God. She moved to Egypt to be with this Egyptian guy. She was gorgeous and it sounded like it, he wasn't treating her very well. So I hate to see that, you know, because I'm like, you don't need to be with any loser that's being mean to you. You could have anyone you want. So we go in. OK, it's like a clinic where like there's people from all different. <laughs> this is going to sound like foodie beauty now. It was like a public clinic so there's everybody in there everybody okay it's very affordable and this is where the school chose to send us so I'm like that's kind of weird because I lived in a suburb okay I lived in a suburb kind of a new-ish development it isn't now but it was at the time and there are plenty of physicians in the area so I'm like why are they sending us to Mohendasin it's very downtown-ish I'm like why are they sending us here okay so already I'm like huh and then we walk in and I'm like, huh, all right, interesting, okay. Well, then they told us what we needed to do, okay. And I wasn't comfortable with a lot of it. And I witnessed something. And I felt that my health was actually at risk, like that my safety was at risk in this place. And... I, it's, this is a big cultural thing because I got very indignant. Okay. I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because it's quite a story. 
but the cultural differences don't translate at all because I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they were like, oh, it's no problem. It's no problem. I'm like, it is a problem. What are you exactly, Grace Style? You hit the nail on the head. That is exactly what was happening, Grace Style. <sighs> Reuse needles. Reuse needles. And I'm like, you're worried about me having all of these diseases that I'm going to just transmit to all the children, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm like, how freaking... I, I Don't ever put my health at risk. I will come the F for you so hard. And I said to this person, tell me the rate of hepatitis A in this country, and then tell me you're gonna use a used needle to draw blood from me. And now I'm making a scene, okay? Now there's a scene, because the place is crowded AF. I already refused the x-ray. They wanted to x-ray my lungs for tuberculosis. I'm like, listen, I'm a woman of childbearing age, okay? Don't expose me to radiation. That I don't need to be. You can do a TB time test on my wrist. Don't put me up to an x-ray machine. Are you crazy? <laughs> so I'm talking to the, oh, oh I'll tell you, this, I, I'm not going to tell you the rest of it because it gets worse. It gets way worse. It gets way worse. But I'm talking to the other teachers. The two guys from Michigan, oh my God, they're a whole story unto themselves. But the other guy who had been in Egypt for a while, I'm talking to him because he's kind of normal. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm, I am not doing it. If they want to fire me, I don't care. I'm not going up to that x-ray. I'm not. I have no idea what kind of condition that equipment is in and how much radiation I'm going to receive. F to the hell, no. So he was all unsure because he needed a job. You know, like, oh, uh, I'm like, well, pfft, I'm refusing. So you could probably refuse to do what you want, but mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to have the medical stuff up on the screen, though. <laughs> Hey, please, please, uh-uh, please, 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 stop, stop. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Francis, I have no idea. I have no idea if that's like a normal thing. I was just appalled, absolutely appalled. And I think they were trying to make me think that I was, like, I felt like I was being gaslit, like as if I didn't see what I thought I saw. And I'm like, that's okay. Just put a fresh needle. Let me see you take the needle out of the paper wrapping and put it on a syringe. Just let me, I'll give you 10 bucks for a new needle. What the fuck? Like, just, just put a new needle on. If there's any question, if I used to, I used to work for the American Red Cross. Okay. If there's any question whatsoever that a patient is like, is that a new needle? I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't even talk to them about it. I'd be like, hey, anything can happen, you know, anything can happen. Let me just put a new needle on while you're watching so we're both sure, you know? Like, there's that shouldn't even be a question. They're like sense. They're mere sense. I know Kelly Irish, but I'm saying for these people, if that's what their concern is, is money, I mean, it's like, not. it's probably not even a penny for a 19-gauge needle. Come on. Ugh, that's not the worst of it, though. But I'll tell you another time. Maybe tomorrow. I'll tell you tomorrow. I do want to set up a cool background for it. Because <laughs> I have a really cool medical owl that I haven't used yet. <laughs> oh, I had to pour Life Choices Simulator. That is one of my biggest. I didn't even know it was such a trigger until it happened. I made the biggest scene I never, ever, ever thought I would be in that position where I would be 
yelling at the top of my lungs in a health clinic. Health clinic. And I had my ex on the phone because I'm telling him what's going on. And he's like, okay, just get back on the bus, go back to the school and tell them. You know, the headmistress is a reasonable person. The Kuwaitis hired her. <laughs> just tell her. That's a whole story, me having that conversation with her. That's a whole other story. But he's on the phone with me. So he's hearing me yelling. He's hearing me on the phone yelling at these people. <laughs> and he said, he said he never would have believed it if he hadn't heard it for himself. <laughs> I yelled at the doctor. I demanded to see the medical director of the clinic. And when she came out, I yelled at her too. And I said some unbelievable things that if he and I were still talking, we'd probably still be joking about it. Because one of the things I said, uh, we ended up joking about like, like a year later with the dogs. Yes, exactly. Fatty to fed people need to hear this if they plan on traveling. They can't expect the same medical standards and care as U.S. and most other countries. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm like, screw the job. You're going to give me hepatitis A sitting here? Like, I'm telling you, the, the waiting room was filled with people of every social class, which is very unusual. Very, I'm like, why are they sending us here? Not that the medical, not, not that the social class determines the medical care, the level of care. It was just odd for a private school, an international private school that I was going to be an English teacher. This place had an archery court and a swimming pool. A, a, there was a swimming pool in the downstairs, in the, in the basement, like with lanes and stuff. So this place cost, I don't even know how much. It looked like a car dealership. And you're sending us to Mohendasin to this weird clinic where I'm not even sure if I have a fresh needle on that syringe. Like, what? What? What is happening? What is going? The whole thing was sketchy. Absolutely, fatty to fed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'll tell you more tomorrow. But I ended up working, st I ended up working a little while longer, but then why did I leave? Oh yeah. And they didn't pay me at some, oh my God, so much happened. All the, all foreigners have a crazy story about where they worked overseas. I had to bring my ex in. Oh my God. How embarrassing to sit with the accountant because the accountant didn't speak English at all. And I need someone who truly understood me. Like, I'm being shorted a lot of money here. Why? Oh, my God. And he talked with him. And he's like, I knew what he was doing. I knew what my ex was doing. He's like, he's got the gift of gab. He's just like, he told the accountant. He told the accountant what to write down. <laughs> they shorted me so much money, okay? Okay. And they just give you a big envelope of cash every month. They just give you a big, and you have to sit there at the desk and count it before you get up from the desk. Because there's a whole line of staff behind you waiting for their envelope of cash. And they, they shorted me. And I'm like, there's a bunch missing here. Why? What's going on? So they're like, oh, you'll have to talk to Mr. Whoever, the accountant. And I'm like, Mr. Whoever doesn't speak English, like at all. So I went home, talked to my ex, and he's like, well, you know, go back, do this, do that, do this. And just nothing was was happening. Like, no one cared. No one understood. You know, it's always like, I'm like, <laughs> DMs now? For what? <laughs> so, um, oh. Poor neighbor. It's going through a tough time. Uh, oh, that's so cute, John. That is, that is freaking adorable. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so I ended up having to bring my ex in 
to the accountant's office. Oh, my God. It's like, that is the last thing I wanted to have to do. But he was like, my ex was like, it's all right. We're just going to have a talk and we're going to get things straightened out. I'm like, okay, I guess. So we sat there and the guy's going over with him. Okay, she was here on this day. And on that day, she left at this time. My ex translates it to me. He's like, is that is that all correct? I'm like, yes. And we're going through the whole thing. Let me put these up on the on the stream. <laughs> so it did come out that they owed me a lot of money. And the accountant admitted it. He's like, oh, yeah, we do owe her. I don't even I have I have no recollection of how much it was. But it was enough that I was, you know, bringing my ex into, into the school, you know. It was enough. So he tells the guy, you know, he's like, look at this. Look at this. John just sent this to me. <laughs> Sports bra and the helmet. Oh, my God. Why are you on a skateboard, John? Do you skateboard? I love it. <laughs> I love it. How'd you get the sports bra? Yeah, the eyes on both of us are like wild. Wild. <laughs> and then... Um, no one cares sent this yesterday. This is the owl in the Kia. The owl in the Kia. Look at the owl just sitting there. Sitting in, it looks a little fancier than a Kia. You used to skate as a younger man? Aw. Look at that owl in the Kia. <laughs> no one cares sent this yesterday. Now known as the Audacity. And then this one also on the Kia. <laughs> so cute. The owl does not look impressed by the Kia. Yeah, probably not. Adorbs. Adorbs. So... So he's they he agreed that, yes, we, do, we actually do owe her this money. So my ex is just schmoozing this guy, schmoozing, laughing it up because this is part of the cultural thing. You got to like develop a rapport first. You can't, you're just, you can't be all business. You could ask about their family. You could ask about everything, everything. So they get connected. I'm sitting off to the side like, oh my God. So my ex starts dictating to him what to write on a piece of paper. Like, and the guy, the accountant is looking up at him and like waiting and writing. I'm like, what is happening here? So this was a letter that I could have taken to the local police department to say, this school owes me this money and they have not paid me. He wrote, the accountant wrote it out with the amount. I still have it. Actually, I still have it. I took a picture of it. I posted it somewhere. I still have that. Oh my God, I have to find that. I have to find that. Because I like put out a warning to other foreigners. Like if you work at the school, you're not going to get paid, A, and B, they're going to send you to some weird clinic in Mohandasin and it will not be sanitary. Yeah. <laughs> the owl looks rather okay with the Kias. And it's a reliable vehicle, but not fancy. <laughs> That's cute. Love it. Owl needs a crash helmet if riding with Chantal. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> so tomorrow I will tell you the, re the rest of the story about my medical clinic debacle. Total debacle. And I still, to this day, do not care about the scene that I made or what I said. I don't care one bit. 
Farida Fed, you had a friend die after contracting meningitis in a Mexican hospital. All she needed was stitches. They didn't use any gloves or anything, and the bed hadn't been changed. She didn't make the flight back. My God. That is awful. 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 And it really stinks. You really have to, like, keep an eye out for everything. Ask questions, too. And if you ask questions and people start getting defensive or start telling you you don't know what you're talking about, like I said, when I worked for the Red Cross, that never happened, but I know how I would handle it if it did. If a donor said, hey, is that a clean needle? Like, I'm not going to fight with them. Like, oh, yeah, I put a new one. No, let, let me show you. I'll take it off and let me put a clean one on in front of you so you can see it. They're like two cents. Just so we both have peace of mind. I don't want you to leave thinking that it's not even possible to do that there, but, you know. Just just put someone at ease. It's not a big deal. Is that school still in business, Katzi? I don't know. Let me check. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. The parents were paying a ridiculous amount for tuition. But thankfully, I never made it on the website. <laughs> I did get on the website of another school. Because <laughs> um, I was a blonde American Here's our English teacher. She's a native English speaker from America. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let me look. I'm, pr I'm almost positive it's still around. I'm going to Google it, though. It must be a chain because there's one in Iran and one in Abu Dhabi as well. Hmm. Let's see. Well, it's closed for Aid. <laughs> so, yep, here it is. Um... <laughs> it's so funny with everything in Egypt. Like, I, I Googled it, right? I see the link, you click on it, and it goes nowhere. It's still, I can't believe it's things are still like that there. You can't even get to the website. So messed up. Mm. Well, the, um, the headmistress is still there, it says, but she's listed as the CEO. What does that tell you? It's... Now, British people, you will know this more than I will because everything's run like kind of on a British system. It says grades or year groups FS to year 12. I don't know what FS it means. But it's FS to year 12. Oh, wow. It says all the schools. All the schools. But she's still there, it looks like. And she's not listed as the headmistress. She is listed as the CEO <laughs> of a children's school. That says it all, doesn't it? Mm, they have a Facebook page, of course. Let me see if I can do like an image search. I just... I just, if I could show you just the outside of this place, how ridiculous it looks. It's so silly. Like, what are you people thinking? Are people impressed with this? The mirrored glass? Oh, there's the woman. I have a picture of her. She used to wear niqab. So niqab covers everything except the eyes. She used to wear niqab. She's not wearing that in the picture. Hmm. Like, it was so bizarre. Like, is this supposed to be fancy? Like, what? Is, what is... Like, clearly, I don't get it. <laughs> Are people impressed with this? The mirrored glass on the outside? And someone told me a couple years ago that someone threw, like, a rock through those windows. I was like, oh boy, that must have been pretty expensive to replace. Because they were, like, big mirrored glass. Big panels. 
I wonder if I could do a street view, maybe, because I don't see any pictures of the outside. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. No, it wasn't a boarding school. No. No. Nope. Nope. Hmm. I wonder what the fees are. Let's see if we, no, yeah, website doesn't work. <laughs> huh, interesting. Yeah, but they had um, archery. They had swimming because the CEO, <laughs> the headmistress, she was like a swimming, I don't know, a swimming person. Like she had competed in swimming something. So, like, there were lanes in the pool. I have pictures of all this stuff. I was like, what the heck is this? Hey, Raven Soul. Is my chat still way behind? What is happening? Swimnastics. Oh, yeah. Is the mirrored glass to reflect the heat? I have a coating on my huge eight-foot windows for that. I never saw any other building in Egypt that had that. Like, it was very ostentatious looking. Very ostentatious. I just taught English. I just taught English. Can't see. Only English. Foundation stage is FS. Okay. Thank you, Megan 8. You went to a private British school when you were six and seven. We had swimming and dance class. Oh, nice. That sounds lovely. Lovely. What do you mean archery? I would have loved to learn archery at school. Why did they add it on the curriculum tradition? I have no idea. I think I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I'm not like fancy pants like that. Like I've never been to a school that had archery before. <laughs> so I don't know if it's like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's um, like a status type of sport, like horse riding is. You know what I mean? It could be like that. I really don't know. Your husband's high school had a rifle team? Wow, Lucy Jane. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> It was weird, but I met some nice ladies. I did work with some very nice ladies. One was from Jordan, and she was very um, progressive, very progressive. Like, she basically, her hijab was basically a scarf thrown on top of her head and swung over her shoulder. Like, she, she put a scarf on because she had to, because it was an Islamic school. She just wore it because she had to. She didn't wrap it. She didn't pin it. You know, it was a piece of fabric sitting on her head. <laughs> she didn't want to wear it. Uh, males and females had different swim times. I don't know, Katsy. I didn't see any of the swimming. But the classes were segregated by gender, I think, after grade six. But an, up until that, it was co-ed. Yeah, they gave me a class of boys, all boys. Fifth and fourth and fifth English, I think. I taught a couple of classes, but then I was done. I forget why. I don't even remember. I'm sure this, I don't know. Maybe I'll think of it when I start writing it out. My high school took us to 29 Palms and ROTC and we fired for a week. Oh. Oh, you went to an international school, Grace Style, and we also had archery. I guess it's standard. Okay. Right, Katsy, like fencing. Right. <laughs> Cat, Muslim girls can't swim. Yeah, boys only pool. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you, this school, I worked at different schools while I was there. And this school did put on an excellent iftar because I was there during Ramadan. And we like they took us all to a restaurant and the f it was just amazing. It was so good. It was so good. And that was the one of my friends, one of my good friends wore niqab. So I have my friend from Jordan who's wearing just a scarf draped very casually just to put it on. And my other friend wore niqab. So just her eyes are showing. Everything else is completely covered in black. I think she even wore gloves. And so I was 
like the other woman, she came to show up for Iftar and then she left. Like she didn't even stay to eat. So, <laughs> but my other friend with Nakab, like we sat off to ourselves and just like we ate. She, her English was was beautiful. It was she had like a British um, accent, and but she's Egyptian, fully Egyptian, and she was just educated in the British system. And I was because I was wondering how is she gonna eat with you know with the scarf like you know over her nose and you know covering her mouth so I got I got I'm like oh okay she just like put it underneath the scarf and ate it was no big deal and then she showed me um pictures on her phone of herself like wearing jeans and no hijab she's like this is what I look like <laughs> I was like okay she's like I just want you to know what I look like under all this I'm like that's cool thank you my daughter wanted to learn fencing after watching the girls do it in the parent trap. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I had so many. I can't even tell you the amount of stories I have. You have. Oh, my God. You have no idea. One school I worked at, it was so bad. My ex picked me up. And we went to um, a hotel. Okay, we went straight to a hotel because hotels have alcohol at the bar because tourists, you know, like foreigners, you, you don't, you can't buy alcohol like in restaurants typically. Like you may be able to at some, like Omar Sharif's son has a restaurant, a steakhouse that I've been to many times. Like they serve alcohol, but most restaurants don't at all. So he picked me up. He took me to, I forget which I think it was a Hilton <laughs> and we I'm like what are we doing here and I'm just like venting and like oh my god and then this happened and this happened and we just we walk in and we're sitting in the lounge and like they bring over a menu and and he's just like order a drink and I'm like okay I'll have a Diet Coke and he's like or Coke light is what they call it and he's like you need a drink <laughs> and he's Muslim <laughs> I was Christian. He's like, you need a drink. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can get one here. He's like, yeah, we're at a, we're at a hotel. I'm like, okay. So I think I got like Captain Morgan and Diet Coke with a lime. And then we just sat there looking out onto the golf course with me still venting. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want another one? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Teoncita this was at a different school I worked at different schools while I was there some places just wouldn't pay me they would say yeah we're gonna pay you this amount and pay time would come you only get paid once a month and they wouldn't give me the full amount that they promised and I'm like we agreed on this amount well you're only getting this we agreed on this. Do you have integrity? We we agreed on this amount. I wouldn't have even accepted this job if it wasn't that amount. And it's always the accountant giving you the envelope and like just trying to be the go between. Oh, you'll have to talk to so and so and so and so. And I mean, sometimes it was just obvious they weren't going to pay me and they just told me that to get me in there and get me on their website. So I would just psh, screw you. I'm out of here. No, Meganate, I don't think so. Because, I mean, so, when you, as a foreigner, you just don't have power. You don't have any, you have no power at all. So they basically do what they want. Unless you get the accountant to write out, we owe her this amount, so you can take it to the police station and have them enforce it. Because that is now a contract. Because they would delay getting you the work contract. Oh, yes, our um, so-and-so, Mr. Whoever, is, um, is still working on the contract. We'll have it for you to sign. And my mother-in-law is a professor, so she would tell me, don't even start working until you get that contract. But I did. I did. And then I wouldn't get paid. And she's like, see? <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, I do. I do. Wait until you wait until you sign the contract. Wait until bring it home. It should be in English, but if it's not, we'll translate it and we'll tell you, you know, we'll tell you what it says. But until that point, 
don't don't start working. And I did end up working for a university who did it, who did everything. They did everything correctly. I got the contract in my email before I started. It was in English. It was very clear how I was going to be paid, when I was going to be paid. They said it was up to me when I wanted to be paid. I could be paid after every class if I wanted. I mean, I was like, oh, this is how it actually should be. Okay. Yes, Katsy, I do have, I am not a teacher in the States. However, for Egypt, I took my, I took a, I have a CELTA, which is, it's from Cambridge University. So it's a certificate for English, CELTA, C E L <laughs> certificate for English learners. What, what, T English teaching what the why wow the salta was hell why can't i think of it what's wrong with me i'm googling it and i still can't find what it stands for certificate for english language teaching for adults that's what it is that's what it is. So I got the British certification because the American certifications are not respected in the Middle East. You have to get a British one. So I have one. It was hell. It was absolute hell. But I have it from Cambridge University in England. So those were my credentials. Plus having excellent classroom. I had awesome lesson plans, but I hated doing it because it was so much unpaid time off the clock. I hated that, but you know, yeah. You thought about teaching English abroad after you retire from FETS because I love to travel, but I've heard too many bad experiences from others. Yeah, fatty to fed it. I mean, I've... I've had all experiences. I've heard of other people who've had all kinds of experiences. It seems like the teachers who do the best are already teachers in their home country, like already have the degree, the cert, you know, everything. And then they go abroad and work for um, an international chain. Did they pay for the CELTA? No. Oh my God. No. That's what I needed to even start applying for jobs. So no. No. <laughs> no, I paid for that. I think it was like 5K at the time. Probably more now. But yeah, if you work for like a shui fat, that's like a Lebanese. Um, I think it's Lebanese. Shoy fat. Like one of in like the British school, like there's chains of schools that are worldwide. And if you're a real teacher, like you're already a teacher, have your credentials, certifications, everything, and you go to be a teacher at one of those places, those those people have no problems. They have no problems. They are living life like pfft. they're well dressed, they look clean. <laughs> They're not out in the dust like I was. My classrooms were dusty and hot. <laughs> they they didn't they didn't look like me. They looked clean and well groomed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see. I had to make it fun because I you know I hated school, so and I hated the teachers that would just had no creativity and would just drone on and open your books to blah blah, blah you know. So I couldn't be like that. But it's a lot of work to make things fun and interesting. So I didn't live in the UK, no. Oh. Poor Diosera? What is that? Poor Diosera? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Salta. I put up a calendar in my dorm room and X'd off every day, each day. It was awful. Every single person 
cried. Even, I, I mean, every person in that class cried. I think, I don't remember how many, maybe like 20 of us or so. And I was like, I'm not going to cry. Like, I can, this is nothing. Those British teachers, they'll make you cry. I cried. I ended up crying. I did cry. I cried. I cried. Yeah, I did. A dirty homeless pigsty? No, not quite like that. Like I, like the schools I worked in, some of them didn't have air conditioning. So you're just sweltering all day. Like only maybe the teacher's room has AC, but the classrooms don't. Ugh. Yeah. There's dust everywhere. But like the real teachers, <laughs> like the real, you know, the chain schools are like, they look like they would in the States. Like, you know, you wouldn't even know. But they're they're working in schools that are like in the States, basically. A similar standard. I'm walking into a car dealership <laughs> with white leather sofas saying, get on this bus. We're going to send you a clinic to a clinic downtown. That's where I was working. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> yeah. But I did a lot of private classes, too, though. I did a lot of private classes and those were fun. Those were fun. And cause I did like adults and that was much better. How long were you there before? I actually reverted after I returned to the States. So I wasn't even in Egypt or with a Muslim man when I reverted. These were corrupt private schools or public private private. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to work in a public school cause I'm not Egyptian. But like the curriculum, oh God, the stories I could tell, oh my God. But the curriculum, just looking at the books for each grade level, I was like, they are deliberately dumbing down these people, deliberately. You're doing online class with UCLA. You can't focus as an adult, Cali Cali. Oh, it is tough. It is tough. I have to play mind games with myself sometimes with tedious things or learning things that I'm not interested in. I try to make it interesting for myself. <laughs> hey, Creepy's Adventures. How's it going? That is so true, unhinged lady. It's different when you're an adult. Right. Right. When you're a kid, you worry about school. That's pretty much it. Yep. That's right. Like, I took a class as an adult that I didn't take before. So I was in with, like, young people. And they were just trying to pass. And I was, like, really trying to learn. It was very, it was, it was interesting, the difference. Because I was like, yeah, that would have been me years ago. Just like, let me just get through this. But I'm like, I need to build a foundation on this to learn so I can continue to learn. So I can move on with my learning. You lost 15 pounds, Creepy's Adventure? Woohoo! How'd you do it? Tell us. Congratulations! Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic! That happened on English for You, Take on Sita. It was so, so dumbed down. Like, I get it, but how are people supposed to learn if they didn't allow a speaking practice? You have to speak. I went to private English classes since five years old. Oh my God, Teoncita. That is the most important part is speaking. And at when I was at, I was working at a university, I would do like, they knew how to speak English, but not um, like intuitively, I guess. So I would set up, <laughs> they must have thought I was nuts. I would set up debates with very controversial topics that weren't that weren't controversial to, you know, the country or the government, because I could have been in 
big trouble if I did anything like that. But things that I knew people would have different opinions on and set up a debate and split the class down the middle and like get one from each side to go up to the front and you tell your and, you know, and like use the English that like comes to mind. Don't think about forming sentences or correct grammar. Just like get it out what you need to say in English because I wanted them to have that fluency to be able to just spit it out, not think about it too much. It's so important. You did about 20 minutes of several languages on Duolingo last night? <laughs> Retain zero. Well, several languages. You took Japanese for three years? I lost so much of it because I have no one to speak it with. Right. Yeah. Chantal is wrong. We don't need her. Right, Creepy's Adventures. I would come chat no matter what the content. Aww. Love it. Your speaking is awful. I stutter and hesitate a lot because I can't do it intuitively, as you say. So I end up wanting to sob in my bed in shame like I swear I know how to talk. Teoncita, I do that with English every day of my life. You hear me on here. Blah, 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 blah. But I get it. The private classes that I taught for adults, it wasn't up on a whiteboard. It wasn't giving them exercises to do. It was building confidence in speaking English and just having regular conversations and practicing and practicing and practicing. It is very important. Tanoncita, do you have anyone to practice English with? You get a lot of Arabic speaking patients on Hinge Lady? Oh. I took Spanish for two years and only remember how to say I have something in my pants, Francis? Oh my goodness. John Galt, please translate in Spanish. I have something in my pants. John's learning Spanish at record speed. I remember having to refuse speaking to my mother, my mother tongue with fellow Swiss students to rely on English while in language school in England and got kind of alienated because I was the only one refusing to. Oh, poor life choices simulator. Huh. My boyfriend, some friends from around the world but I avoid voice chat for that reason. Oh, tengo algo en mis pantalones. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Yeah, take on Sita. I wouldn't have known that you weren't a native English speaker just by reading what you're writing. I wouldn't have known. Yeah, Duolingo was very, uh, it was, it, I didn't get very far with Arabic on there. Hmm, interesting. I only know the cuss words because when I was a kid, my grandpa taught me <laughs> Creepy's Adventures. I remember being in the grocery store in Egypt and some guy saying something to me. I knew what he was saying. I knew how to respond, but it it wouldn't come out. <laughs> it just wouldn't come out. It's like too much was going on in my head. Like he said, like I'm translating what he said in English to in my head. And then like, okay, I need to respond like this and translating that to Arabic. And then by that time, it just wouldn't. I couldn't form the words and I just, I was probably giving him the stupidest look. I'm just like, Ugh. and he just kind of shook his head a little bit and like walked away. I was like, kind of like what you said, Tehoncita, like, I, I know what to say. I know how to say it and I can say it, but it's just not this, uh, that fluency wasn't there. Because I was caught off guard. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Your mom was an ESL teacher? Uh, ESL tutor, Tony D? For the underserved for many years? That's awesome, Tony. 
You can probably out French Chantal, Catsy. I'm sure you can. We just out exercised her tonight. So sometimes, sometimes I get my Spanish and Japanese mixed up. I think the little snafus just happen like blank brain when you're multilingual. Every, when I was first learning parts of Arabic, my head, because I learned, I went, I took Spanish in high school for four years and I was fairly fluent. Like I tutored um, Honduran children during the summer at the Latin American center. So I felt I was fairly fluent. So I was learning Arabic, but my mind kept going to Spanish. And I'm like, it must be the way that the brain is wired. Like that must be that like second language wiring. It just, I just kept thinking of responding in Spanish. The forming sentences and then putting them into a structure, then enunciating it. Yes. Yep. It's then that you realize just how fast conversation is expected to go. Yep, definitely. Yep. Yeah, so if anybody is listening and you haven't had a lot of experience with people who aren't native English speakers, give them a little extra time to respond. And some people assume that the person isn't that smart because they have a blank look on their face, okay? <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. They're doing so much inner work in their brain just to process it and give you a response that it takes a little extra time. So try to be patient, and it will come out. And the more patient you are, the more at ease that person will feel, and it will flow faster, because they know you're not, like, judging them, basically. Some Spanish is heavily based in Arabic, especially if it's more Spain-based Spanish and not LA Spanish, really. <laughs> oh. I always let them think when they're trying to think. Yes, exactly. It's like people are like, oh, they, you know, they don't speak English. Well, how many foreign languages do you speak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I felt that firsthand. I'm like, I know what he's saying. I know how to respond. But it just, it must have been, I just must have had a blank look on my face and it took like an extra couple seconds and he just like made a face and walked off. I was like, wow, okay. I know how that feels now. Like, like I'm not dumb. Promise, promise. I just can't spit it out right now. <laughs> I'm trying. English is hard, for sure, especially written English. You used to live in California? Lots of Spanish there. Oh, nice. Creepy adventure. Lots of Hmong. Oh, that's a very, very popular language now in the States. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, Tejoncita. Spain was occupied by the Moors way back then, so some words are from Arabic. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Also, the foods, the buildings like Alhambra, like the Spanish tile, the tile, it, some of it looks very Arabic and Moorish tile. When I was looking at tile, my bathroom, it never happened. It never, it probably will never happen. Okay. I got real repairs to do. <laughs> this is when I was like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Yeah, no. But I was looking at Moorish tiles and it's so beautiful, but it looks Arabic, but yeah, Spanish. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. I love our conversations when most of the chat leaves <laughs> and it's just us talking about random stuff. Home ownership is stressful, but fulfilling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would just like for there nothing to be left on my list of things that need to be repaired or, you know, but I don't think it'll ever happen. 
There's a list. Being admired instead of made fun of or looked down upon does so much for someone learning a language. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And it's it's kind of like I just keep seeing the Dunning Kruger effect everywhere. Like people who know a couple of words, like Arabic, okay, like Chantal, she knows a couple of words, and to her, she has mastered the Arabic language, right? And then you have people who are extremely fluent, they're having full-scale conversations, and they will be like, I'm so sorry, my Arabic isn't very good, or my English isn't very good, and it's like, what? You don't even have an accent. What are you talking about? But then you have someone who knows a couple of words, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm fluent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be the day I sell it oh my god I have thought of that I'm like what if that time comes someday and like I'm, I'm fixing up everything to you know so it looks nice when people are coming through to want to view it and then it's like oh I should have done that for myself years ago but here I am doing it for the next homeowner so, yeah. You lost a chance for a house you looked at today. Someone made a better offer. Yeah, it, I mean, it is a freaking roller coaster. House shopping. It's a roller coaster. But you're not going to end up with a house that's not meant for you. Like, I almost didn't even come to see this house. It just looked weird on the website. I was like, something, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pass, but thank God I didn't. Yeah, Megan 8. Why didn't I paint, buy, fix that years ago? Yes, exactly. Yeah. The people saying, excuse my English, and then speak the most educated and elaborate sentence structures you've ever heard, and much better than native English speakers. Yes. I mean, I probably made, I don't even know, maybe four offers on homes that I didn't get and paid for the home inspections and everything. Like my offer was accepted, paid for the inspection. It's like 300 bucks. And then like, oh, this house doesn't have evidence, any evidence of insulation. I'm like, what? <laughs> How is that possible? It's a very old house and they didn't have insulation back then. How do I get it in there? You don't know, or something. I'm like, or would it cost like so much ridiculously more to put insulation? I'm like, how do you have a home without insulation where I live? That's insane. So I'm like, well, that's out. And then Creepy's Adventures is learning all about this. Depending on the loan that you have, who's funding it, they have certain requirements. So... The loans that I was looking for was never, they were never going to approve a house with no insulation. I would have been paying ridiculous heat bills. Ridiculous. Every house you ever bought, I knew at the entrance when I'd flow. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, FHA does have strict rules. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I had to have the previous homeowner do, I had to pay for one thing. It's like a thousand bucks for it to even be considered for this loan, this loan that I got. It wasn't FHA, it was something different. And he had four steps going down, like with, when the dogs run outside, <laughs> they go down these steps, right? He didn't have a railing. If there were three steps, he wouldn't have needed to put a railing. But the requirement is if you have four steps, you need a handrail. So he had to put in a handrail. He made that concession. He put that in. I mean, it was probably a couple hundred bucks. I had to install lolly columns in the cellar. Thousand dollars. Yeah. But hey, the house is going to be held up for many years. <laughs> it's not going to cave in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I wanted a thousand dollars for landscaping. I wanted to hire a landscaper. 
Yeah, okay. Dreams. <laughs> yeah, I think they're L-A-L-L-Y. They're basically poles, metal poles that hold up your, your, um, your floor. It's like to stabilize the home. It's a, I live in a very old home. It was built a very long time ago. It's almost impossible to get a home loan on a house that's over 100 years old, right? I had to pay cash for my house and use equity to borrow for renovations. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you must have a nice home, though, in New Orleans. Oh, it must be beautiful. <laughs> Lolly, what now? Yeah. Yeah. Had to be done. Yeah. I'll, I'll bring up a picture. <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. That's a great picture of a lolly column. This is a lolly column manufacturer, I think. Yeah, it's just to stabilize the structure. That's all. Um, that's a good picture. If I can... Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. I hate ads. <laughs> okay. Like, please. Yeah, you don't even know that some of this stuff exists. I mean, you wouldn't believe what I've learned in the time that I've been here. The things that I have learned. I would never have thought that I would know so much about certain things. Okay, Creepy's Adventures. Oh, happy birthday to your husband in advance. And have a great walk with Hippie. Hippie, hippie, hippie. Did you see the old man from, with an iron lung passed away today? I didn't see that. I did not. It's not a house, Jack. No, that is something different. My house is not jacked up. <laughs> jacked up. That is a totally different uh, thing. It's a different thing. Like, it didn't need to be leveled or anything. It wasn't, you know, like, I didn't have to have one side put up or anything. Where do I, where do I save things? I literally just did it two seconds ago. Literally. Come on. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hmm. Oh, that's why. There we go. Interesting chat. <laughs> Very interesting chat. Okay. <laughs> these are lolly columns, these red poles. That's what they are. They're just metal poles that stabilize those beams in the cellar. I have those. You vote the Egyptian owl as a new group mascot? Oh. You spent most of the day researching the best methods of painting tin and aluminum barn roofs? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, Poor Life Choices Simulator, have a great sleep. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Yeah, so I had a bunch of these put in my cellar and it was $1,000 to have that done, but I had to, to be approved for the loan. So, because they have their own inspectors that come out. Like you could have your house inspection done and you pay hundreds of dollars for it. And then 
for the loan, they have their own people that come out to inspect for these different things. Wow, that actually looks like my cellar. Is that my basement? <laughs> it's not. I don't have a water heater. It's not. I have a lot of pictures of my heating system. I can't even tell you how much I've worked on that myself. Myself. I've probably saved a ton of money, though. I know I have, actually. It's not a probably. John, oh, Megan 8. John Lally was an American inventor and businessman living in Waltham, Massachusetts, who owned a construction company that began producing the lolly column. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> what do you know? Wow. Very interesting. You guys are funny. Like, oh, let me give you the history of the lolly column while we're here. Lolly. Yeah, so Creepy's Adventures is looking for a home. It's, you know, you learn a lot. You really do. You do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, oh, to see your DIY saving info spreadsheets, BB. Oh, no, I don't have spreadsheets for that. No. No. I have to, I have to fix my washing machine again. But I know what's wrong with it. So I learned all about my washing machine like in depth and I ordered it was like an $11 part on Amazon it came I installed it and it was back to pff, it was working great so so I didn't have to have a washing machine repair person come out and look at it and charge me $200 just for coming in the door I mean it takes time I do get frustrated sometimes. I do have to stand up and walk away sometimes, you know, and it take it does take longer than it would if I did hire somebody to do it. But I've gotten to a point now where I can afford it to have someone come, but I would rather try it my try it myself first cuz it's not only the money saving that helps, but I really feel like I am one with my heating system in my house. We know each other intimately now. I've been all up in there. You have no idea. You have no idea. My washing machine, I know what's going on in there. I do. It's a regular motor. I had no idea. I had no, it, it is a motor like in a car. It even has oil in there. Did, did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And the spinning thing, $11 part, no problem. It even has a clutch. It has a clutch on it. So you know when it changes from agitate to spin? It's a clutch that does that. And when you hear it, like, engage, it's a clutch, like, on a car. It's just like it. It is an older one because I, I wanted an older one so that I could fix it. I didn't want a panel. I didn't want a digital display. I didn't want to have to look up an error code. I wanted to say, huh, it's not spinning. What do I need to do? Let me tell you, I know what to do. But it took me a long time to fix it because part of it, I didn't have enough strength to remove like a section. I didn't have enough strength in my arms to, to get it apart. So I got frustrated with that a couple times. Oh, it's amazing. Like, and then, you know, then you learn about your car engine, right? Like, I don't do much there. You know, I can change my air filter. I check my, you know, all that's, you know, basic stuff. But once you learn about, um, I had no idea. I really, it's like, it really blew my mind. <laughs> That this motor in your clothes washing machine is so similar to your car motor. I really didn't know that. A clutch and a brake. There's brake pads too. 
I replaced the brake pads while I was in there because I'm like, well, I got it all apart now. I might as well. <laughs> might as well. I don't want to be in here six months from now doing this again. A switch for your vacuum is $9. Exactly, Diane, again. To get it replaced, it would have been $221. Exactly. This is what, exactly. Kudos to you, Diane, again, for real. I love that. Love it. My vacuum motor. I think this, like I started talking, I talked about this many months ago. <laughs> and someone DM'd me and said, you just saved me hundreds of dollars. I was going to go out and buy a new Dyson, but I can do it the way that you did it. And they saved money. I love it. The motor died. It was very sad because they discontinued this model. And I love my vacuum machine. I, I love it. My vacuum cleaner. And I knew what was wrong. And I'm like, it's the motor. It's like it's burned out. So, like, you, you know, just that awful noise, you know. Well, you can buy just that part of the vacuum. Like there are sellers like on eBay Probably, I don't, I don't think, I, look, I looked on Amazon, I couldn't find it. But there are like sellers, or you could go to like a vacuum shop, possibly. And you can buy just that part. And you just keep everything else. They're not going to send you the beater bar, the, the bottom part that goes on the floor, the handle. They're not sending you that. They're just sending you what's broken. And it was like $36. And now my vacuum is brand new because all that other stuff doesn't have anything that's wearing out. It was just the motor. So it's like I have a brand new vacuum. Your new machine has gone into error mode, Mega Omega. Oh, see, I wouldn't be able to handle that. It's like, how would I even fix that? How do you, you got to call someone, right? You never have good luck with vacuums, Cali Cali. What kind of vacuum do you have now? <laughs> my floor care. Oh my God. Of all things to be passionate about, but seriously, I've had so many bad vacuums, so many bad floor cleaners, and now I have the best of both. Oh, <laughs> I have no complaints. <laughs> you love this domesticated dog? Me too. Me too. I had to recently replace my floor cleaners, my like wet floor cleaners, you know, because dogs. You take an online course on repairing all the things. Catsy, basically that's what I do. Like I did my washing machine repair. There's like a washing machine repair YouTube channel. It was my exact model. And the dude walks you through it step by step. Step by step. You're a Dyson fan, baby? You have a Dyson pet, Diane? You need an industrial strength vaccine or vacuum? I don't have a Dyson. The person who contacted me had a Dyson. Love us a tutorial channel that does it right. Yes. Yeah, Mega Omega, it is great. It's, but ever since they took that, they took out the thumbs down where you can't see thumbs down anymore. That's a big detriment when it comes to DIY stuff. Because a video can have a ton of views and you're like, oh, okay, everyone's using this video to fix that. But you wouldn't have clicked on it when you saw the thumbs down. You know, people may, maybe got sucked in by clickbait and the the video doesn't even address it. Your vacuums break down because they can't handle the dust, Teoncita. You have abyssal, Cali Cali. That's the problem. <laughs> I can't tell you how many abyssals I've had. Abyssal can suck it, okay? I'm dead serious. Abyssal <laughs> can suck it. <laughs> you can all suck it, haters, okay? Yeah. They can suck it for real. Screw Bissell. Never again. <laughs> you know how to replace all your windows now? That is impressive. 
That's very impressive. I have a hard time with windows. I started replacing my screens. Ugh. I did one. <laughs> I did one. That's hard. It's not hard. It's time consuming and irritating. Yeah, Bissell can suck it for real. Bissell, Hoover. Oh, forget them. They're no good. It's like they might as well put this will last you three months, maybe six if you're lucky. Yeah. I have I have floor care passions. But my my wet floor cleaner passed away. It was the motor. You go straight to the comments, that's smart. And it was under warranty. It's a good vacuum brand. Mine is a shark. I have a shark. I don't know about all the sharks. And the shark I have is discontinued, sadly. But it has the dual roller thing. It's pretty effing amazing. And I've used that with four dogs. You have a shark and you love it, Lils? Lilies? Lilis? <laughs> My partner just got a Dyson cordless and I'm even more in love. It feels like, oh, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> exactly, Diane. You and I have a lot in common, it sounds like. <laughs> I don't know if I'd get a cordless vacuum because I've read from reviews that they don't have as much power as the corded ones, but my wet floor cleaners are cordless and I love it. I love it. Love it. Yeah, read the reviews and stuff. But yeah. Shark? Uh, yeah, I've had luck for sure. Yeah, so I didn't think my wet floor cleaner was still under warranty. I was just like, well, let me just email them. And like, I wanted tips on how to fix it. But they were like, where did you buy it? And I, I had an email from like an email receipt. And they were like, oh, we'll send you another one. I was like, what? Okay. So they did. It worked for a while. It worked for like, I don't know, six months. And the same thing happened. I was like, what the fuck? They sent me another one after that. That one never even worked right out of the box. And then they sent me another one, I think. And I was like, forget it. Just forget it. So I had one that worked for a little while. It was the same problem that was happening. And I read and I've read, I've tried looking up like how do are people having the same problem? Because usually if you're having a problem, every well, there are other people having the same problem and they have already fixed it and they'll tell you how they fixed it. You okay? You okay? Oh. I'm growling at something. Oh, So I kind of had a hunch, maybe I have hard water in my area. And I'm like, maybe it's hard water deposits. Maybe. <laughs> so I looked on eBay. Someone was selling them, a couple of them used, like barely used, for $44 each. I paid $200 for this thing. So they had two for sale, $44 each. I bought both of them. I'm like, just send them, just send them. And now I use distilled water. <laughs> I use distilled water in these things now. Because I'm like, I don't want to put tap water in them. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but I love, and they, uh, they discontinued it. I ended up, I did get the upgraded one. I hated it. It was so heavy. It was awkward. This thing is cordless. I just glide around each room, da, 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 washing the floors. Like it's no, it's no effort. None. But the upgraded one is shit. I very rarely return things to Amazon. I think I've returned two things and I've been on Amazon at least 10 years. That was one of them. I'm like, I can't. I'm trying. To, I've been trying to make it work. It's aggravating. I shouldn't be aggravated just to wash the floor like this. 
You have all original wood floors. My house is big. I'd die if I didn't have my floor cleaner machines. What do you use, Fatty to Fed? I haven't had any issues yet, thank goodness, but I have a whole house water system, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you use for floor care? <laughs> I wonder about the lurkers during these conversations. Like, what are they doing? I think they're probably sleeping. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Aw. You okay? Aw. Yeah, I don't know why they discontinue good things. I wish they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A cord, yeah, it's cordless, yeah. The floor cleaner is cordless. Yeah. You're cross stitching? Nice, Emily B. Pulling weeds? Nice cahoots. <laughs> I use a special cleaner that's just for original wood floors. That's why I have to clean my machine out often because the cleaner has oil in it. Oh, interesting. Huh. It's very interesting. I just saw the title and tried my first ever hot yoga class today. I nearly died, but I made it, Emily. That's awesome. Yeah. What was that door-to-door -door vacuum that cost a billion dollars? Where is this? The Kirby and the Rainbow. Those water machines where you get five five gallons for a dollar. Keep hard water from wrecking everything here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Getting ready to join a call with a friend since I'm still a bit messy. Emotions are hard and messy. Oh, I'm sorry, Tejancita usually a lurker and you've piped up like twice in the past 15 minutes prismo we like home care stuff chantal could never <laughs> true true so true prismo so true oh she was even saying vacuuming was was irritating her sciatica <laughs> like come on you have your floors revealed by a restoration company once a year wow ems you had the craziest day just got home, four and a half hours stuck in Seaville, Virginia area, and a man went on a high-speed chase and standoff with police who we were trapped as no exits and right behind was crazy. Dang! Dang, Ems! Glad you're safe. Can we play a game bold of you to assume that Chantal has done any of these exercises? <laughs> hey, it's on her playlist. Planting seeds? Nice. Oric is good. Yeah, I've heard Oric is pretty good, too. And I find like with, you know, with dogs or if you have like heavy cleaning needs, the maintenance of the machine is uber important. Like my vacuum, I've taken it apart many, 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 many times. Many. Electrolux, yeah. I was sleeping till I heard you talking about foodies exercise playlist and my brain said that can't be right <laughs> funny like what that can't be right <laughs> am i dreaming foodie and an exercise playlist what <laughs> are you serious oh yeah we were serious that's hilarious <laughs> you perked up what <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah I gotta fix my washing machine it's just like it got off balance and I don't think I had the back secured properly so when it was spinning out of control bang 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 like the water spout that comes down that got unhooked from the back so it's like oh my god so I can't even do laundry right now. 
it's just like if I turn it on again, it's just going to tear it apart. So I'm going to reattach everything. <sighs> it's just hard to get to because I got to move it out from the wall. Wah, wah, wah. I know. I'm glad to have a washing machine. I am very grateful. It was a time I didn't. Does your washing machine sound like it's going to walk away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it moves. Oh, yeah. It's like, screw this. I'm out of here. And I'm like, no, come back. Yep. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> I sound like such a nerd. I don't care. I don't care. I had that whole thing apart. I had it tilted up. And I was underneath it, fixing the motor, right? I get all of it fixed. I put it back down on the floor, okay? And the whole casing that goes outside of the washing machine, like what you see, the white on the outside is one of the hardest things to get back on. You have no idea. You have no idea. And if that like shifts and everything isn't secured properly, that's when the bang, bang, bang starts happening. And if you let that go on, things start breaking. So that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, they have feet on them. Yep, you can do that. The floor is a bit wonky. Right, right. Yeah, listen to uh, Mega Omega. She knows. The feet are, like, you can screw them to different heights. So it it will be level, even if your floor isn't. Water vacuums are the best for allergies and hair. Are you thinking about getting another one? Because the dust is ridiculous and all your intricate woodwork, hardware, and light fixtures. And you have 12-foot ceilings? Wow. Nice. Whew. That reminds me, I have to suck the lint out of my dryer soon. I did that a couple weeks ago. There wasn't as much in there as I expected. But I watch those crazy videos. There's a whole channel. <laughs> this guy that cleans, that like is a dryer repair person. And he shows the lint that are, like there are dryers that have never, ever had the lint cleaned out. It's unbelievable. It's like, how? 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 And, like, they only called him because the lint was, like, coming back into the dryer and getting their clothes dirty. It's like, jeez. <laughs> so I watch those and I'm like, huh, I didn't really have much in there. Yeah, I clean it out every, after every load. And, you know, a couple times a year I go on the outside and clean all that, take it apart. But I guess most people don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I don't want my house catching on fire because of a stupid lint trap. The great walking washer, yeah. <laughs> oh, randomly joined this Facebook group called Neurodivergent Cleaners, and I did learn how to deep clean a lot of odd things that I've been overlooking. Interesting. That would be interesting. Oh, the dryers in the U.S. and Europe that all have, that have all that lint. In my country, we use a Kohenor. That is a drum that spins clothes really fast to take all the water out. We have that too in our washing machines, but there's too much humidity and not enough heat to have that dry your clothes enough to like hang it and be fine. Cause we did that in Egypt. We, there were no dryers in Egypt. It was the same thing. It would spin it really fast and then you just hang it up and it's fine. But like here you, 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 pretty much need a dryer, especially if you live in a cold environment or a humid one. Yeah. Yeah. Meme for washing machine versus tahini dancer. <laughs> the forbidden salad spinner. Nice. <laughs> you do it quarterly there, Diane, again. That's good. That's good. You ordered the whole lint rooting set of tools, Katsy? Nice. I just have that long brush thing. And I did get, I, I haven't put it in, and now it's after winter's ending anyway, but I did get that thing. You attach it. It's hard to explain. 
basically you take your dryer, like that, that tubing, the hose that comes out where your lint is, you take that and you attach it to this device and then you put another hose on the other side that goes to your vent to, to go outside. So you have this thing in the middle and it has a diverter on it and you can switch it so that the heat from the dryer comes out of that and it can heat the room. So you're using your dryer whenever you're drying your clothes to heat the room. It's called like a dryer vent diverter, but I never installed it. <laughs> so it's still there. It's still on top of the dryer. <laughs> but I was like, wow, I could save money on heat, but it is going to put a lot of moisture into your house. So if you have humidity issues, it, it wouldn't be good. And then I got like this extra long tubing because I'm like, well, I don't want it to be, I don't need heat in that room, really. I want it to go throughout the house. So I got like 20 feet of dryer tubing, but not like the metal looking one. <laughs> I got, it was white. And then it arrived in this package that said it was for like, basically for growing weed. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that's not what I'm using it for. And I was going to like put it on a hook and have it like the diverter blow the hot air into my house. But I didn't get around to that. You used to use a salad spinner to wash your clothes by hand and you lived alone. That's really smart because I didn't have a washer and dryer and my landlord wouldn't give me a key to the washer room. What a jerk. That's a very good idea, especially like for smaller items. That's perfect. Oh, yeah, the pollen. Oh, my God. Yeah, you don't want pollen on your clothes. That would be a nightmare. You can't hang your clothes or they might get stolen. In New Orleans, the historic district with huge homes is right next to a sketchy part of town. We don't leave anything valuable outside. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Good talk, guys. Phew. Good talk. You guys want to talk about plumbing tomorrow? <laughs> I got plumbing. I have to, actually, I have a couple faucets I need to install. I do. I do. One is for function. One is for vanity. I think the bathroom faucet will be the easiest to do. I think. I think, I think it really will be. It's so cute, too. Like, I took my time to pick a cute faucet. We have one of those saved us, like, $50 a month compared to the year before. Really? Oh, nice. Wow, Diane. <laughs> we should chat, huh? <laughs> Plumbing talk instead of talking about Chantal's BS. Hey, we're all learning something. I mean, you guys are talking about some pretty, you know, important... I mean, a salad spinner instead of a washing machine. Especially, like, if you just have, like, you know... Like maybe a tank top and a pair of shorts or something or, you know, like underwear, you know, like you just need a quick washing. <sighs> Pretty genius. You know, you have plumbing PTSD. Why? How did you fed? Did you have an issue in your house? I have forced hot water for heat, so I know all about the plumbing for that. Let me tell you. I had this guy on the phone with me. Oh my God, <laughs> there's a story. But yeah, I go to forums for that kind of stuff because there's always some retired HVAC person or retired plumber that's like just on there helping people because they're bored, just helping people interested in what you have. Oh yeah, you, you know, you should get this part and they know what they're doing. Well, that's basically how I fixed my heating system. Like, unbelievable. Diagnosed, gave me the part to order. When it came, he showed me how to install it all on a forum. Typing. You had to make a locking box for your deliveries because of porch pirates. That's dumb. Those stupid people. And it's like, what are they even getting? Uh, yeah, congratulations. You got Q-tips and nail polish remover. You happy? You're a thief now for that. Home improvement arc. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's ongoing. I don't even think it's improvement. <laughs> it's just maintenance. 
oh, you have a tree growing on part of your house when it rains, one of my rooms just floods? What? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, tree roots. I've heard of bad problems when it, when it gets into your sewer line, a tree. The plumbing was over 50 years old when you renovated. So is the electrical, did you have knob and tube? Electrical fatty to fed? My house didn't have knob and tube. It, it had it at one point though. It's still in the basement. It's, that's so old. And then I have this, <laughs> I, <laughs> the viewers are dropping off. It's okay. I don't care. It's okay. Really. The quality of the conversation is more important. I have, a, I, I understand plumbing a little bit, but I have a hard time understanding electrical. Like I won't even, you know, it's not, I can't grasp it for very long. I'll understand the concept, but then it'll be like, poof, it just leaves my brain. So I don't mess with it. But um, I have this configuration for light switches <laughs> in my kitchen. And I tried working it out on a forum. And they were like, they no one could really... I'm like, it must be the way I'm explaining it. No one's really understanding. Like, what I'm, you know, I'm like, it's got to be me, right? These people know what they're doing. Like, I'm probably just not using the right terminology because I don't know enough. And then one of the old timers came on and was like, that is a blah, 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 like the name of a person, a like configuration. And it is no longer within, um, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what's the word? Ah, uh, code. It's no longer in code. Like, but if you have it in your house, you're grandfathered for you're grandfathered in and you don't have to change it, but it would be safer to change it. I was like, what? <laughs> Because no one was understanding. And I'm like, it's got to be me. And this person was like, nope, that is a like a Wilson blah, 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 blah configuration. And only homes of this age have it. And it's not with it's not in code anymore. It's not within building code. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it alone then. Thanks. It had it in some parts. It still had some of the original plumbing and electrical in attic from when it was built. It had three different circuit boxes. Oh my God. One was just for when they added AC units. I integrated. Oh my God. There has to be a troubled person who has a hobby of fixing things that we could. That would be me, Katzi. That I could just start filming myself, like ripping my hair out, trying to fix stuff. Ugh. I would just have no tolerance for trolls, though. I'd just be like, done. I have some stuff grandfathered in, some stuff I can't touch because it's registered as historical. Interesting. Oh, wow. Must have a very cool home. The tree roots are like Chantal, angry, taking down everything in sight and can't be reasoned with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You live in um, Buenos Aires? Oh, Teoncita. They try to have some trees on the avenues and streets. You will trip on lifted sidewalks. What? Well, sidewalks, whether you want to or not. Oh. That's my problem with house stuff. Not up to code. And it was done kind of weirdly to begin with. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah. At our home inspection, the guy found a gas leak in the basement and a pennied fuse in the attic. Wow. crazy these people don't even know they're living there okay guys it's only 10 30 it feels like it's 1 30 in the morning but it's not you live in grand buenos aires outside the capital capital federal here you have lots of trees and i live near the river this time of year i can find lots of mushrooms interesting oh sounds very nice oh, I'm stifling a yawn it's 
time for bed, I think. It's time for bed. Gotta get up early tomorrow. Sadly. <sighs> It'll be Thursday. Okay, Kelly, Kelly. Have a great rest of your day. And check into shark vacuums. Duo clean. That's what it's called. Duo clean. I think that's what it's called. Duo. If you look up shark duo, ugh, you, you probably will be in, in good shape. And they're not, they're not really, I don't think they're any more expensive than those Bissell or Hoover crap vacuums. It's a good place. So many trees and birds. Sometimes you hear seagulls. I get to see hawks one time. I heard an owl. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and for staying late night for the DIY talk. I love it. I love the floor care and the DIY talk. I'd like to hear some of your stories about DIY. It would be fascinating. So many projects, so little time. So... I actually don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. I may not, but next time I'm on, I will I will tell you the full story about the medical clinic because it got far more dramatic, far more dramatic. You have no idea. So, Okay, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your evening or day. Take care of yourselves. I love you all very much. You're truly the best, the best nest, truly. And thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the new members and thanks for the support. I will talk to you soon. So much knowledge in the nest. I agree, Fatty to Fed, so much. Everyone has something to add. I love it. Okay, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. See you soon and goodbye.